And there we are. Let's get started, shall we? That's why you have me. Not for hard mode, not bad. Was it hard mode that we were playing on or just normal? Did we go straight to hard? I honestly can't remember. We can change difficulty like in the middle of the game though, right? Like <laughs> cuz like I could see it being a, a little a little too much at points maybe. I guess that's a uh, TBD TB to be determined. Love that music. It is really good. The music and visual design of the game are A+. Plus. Really, really good. Uh, if I remember correctly, we pick up the book. Yes. Gwendolyn, Chapter 2, Act 3, The Elrit Forest. We have a total of 9 gold. We're level 9 cypher, level 8 HP. Okay. I did choose hard. And yes, yes, you can. Excellent. <laughs> That's good. That's really good news. <laughs> Uh, yes, read the Valkyrie. I am exhausted today, man. I don't know what it is. But I am just tired. That's why I was late. I was downstairs, I was half asleep on the couch. <laughs> Thankfully, I wasn't actually, like, asleep asleep. I was just, like, watching YouTube, uh, half asleep. Let's get reacquainted with the controls real quick. It has been about a week since we played... Or a couple weeks, maybe. Uh, also, there's bees. Beehives and bees that we can fight, apparently. Uh, don't know what that's about, but can we collect anything from them? I was thinking maybe some honey would drop or something, but it doesn't seem like anything, anything dropped. Don't we have, like, an up attack or something? We do. We do. Oh, that's right. We have the, the power meter that we need to watch. Every time we do... Uh, attacks, we use a little bit of our power. If we use too much, we become, like, stunned for a moment. That's good to remember. Don't trust the bees. <laughs> uh, how do we absorb shit again? R1, there it is. Okay. And L1's the map. L2 is our status screen. R2 is inventory. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. We are good. I think I know what we're doing. Bees will hurt you. Don't trust them. Bees are friends. Bees are always friends. Uh, exit. Yes. Let's go! <laughs> Actually get into the game. Figure out what the hell we're doing. Alchemy tutorial part two. Uh, that's good because I don't even remember part one. <laughs> New text added. Mandra Mandragoras are mobile plants that come in various types and grow underground. They are commonly known for use as catalysts and magic as well as cooking. Uh, they squeak when stepped on. Jump on the spot where you heard that the squeak and it'll come out of the ground and start running. Just hit it once to capture it. Neat. Okay. So. Oh, oh, oh. There's a squeak. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> okay. Release an explode napalm. Release an explosive stream of fire. Ingredients, material two. Two onions makes napalm. Obviously. You just met a puppy and she was adorable. I'm a more of a cat person, TBH, but I like both. Like, cats and dogs are both very cute. Well, some of them. I don't really like the ones with, like, squished faces. I don't know. I just feel bad for the animal in that case, you know? Your bags are full. What? Okay, press circle to open, it said. And then I guess we could probably just eat some mall berries. We could use a little bit of HP anyways. Uh, how do we eat? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Can we do it from here? Uh, I guess that was our non-active bag, and that's why we couldn't eat it. Hold on, wait, nope, we're still not, still not eating. Uh. Mul mulberry? I, I want to eat the mulberry. Item ring, material. X material, wait, what? To create a napalm that releases a wave of explosions, you must first create a material two. A circle to go to item ring, material zero. Mulberry seed. 
Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gotta. We need to pick this up to do it. I, I, I understand that actually. Um. But I would be nice if it would just let me go ahead and eat. <laughs> Okay, so we mixed the mulberry seed, and that created material. Can I maybe eat some of the mulberries now, game? No? Okay. Use the material one that you just made and mix it with another ingredient to make material two. Uh, material one plus mulberry seed. Do we have any more mulberry seeds, or are we out? We have muggle seed. Yeah, I think we're out of mulberry seeds. It'd be nice if it would just let us eat. <laughs> so that we could clear up a little bit of space in our inventory, maybe? But it's fine. I suppose. Where material one. Mix with mulberry seed. And we get material two. And I'm assuming we just do that continuously. To, uh... To get higher and higher level potions. So we mix that with one of the onions that we just captured. And there we go. We have napalm. Capturing mandajor and creating stuff does stuff. Very cool. <laughs> Can I eat now? <laughs> Thank you. That's all I wanted to do, man. Level up our hit points. Gain a little bit of HP back since we are a, a tiny bit low. Uh, Wait. Are, I didn't realize we were fighting things. We're fighting very cute looking bears. <laughs> what, what if I don't want to fight the bears? What if I just want to be friends with the bears? Wasn't there a block? I'm pretty sure there was some way to block. Triangle. No, triangle is the spell. Square. Square. Okay. Holding square. So... Oh, shit. Blocking uses up uh, POW, too, though. Good to know. Good to know. I didn't realize that. Stage, Stage clear. Uh, I'm sure the score is terrible. I didn't even know we were in, like, a real level. I thought this was just a tutorial BS. Oh, we still got a B, though. Surprising. There's a dude. Are you an onion? <laughs> an onion? And a chest. Break it open. Give me lay chest, please. Ooh, all kinds of goodies. We got food. Material. Uh, bags are full. Eat the hot cross bun. Eat it again. We probably should have saved that one actually just for health reasons. Because I think it heals more health than the, than the mulberries do. If I remember correctly. But, uh, Luckstone. Is there like a bank or something? Whenever Rue comes back, we need to try to remember to ask them that. Because that would actually be very helpful. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I feel it. Nope, maybe not. All right, we might be okay. Ugh, I can feel it. I hate that feeling when the, when the sneeze is, like, right in your nose. And you really just need to let it out, but you can't. It's the worst. Uh, I guess we're gonna fight a boss. <laughs> That's the next level we're going to. I do like how like you you get the map and you can kind of choose your own way whenever you whenever you're going around. I, I really like that. It's nice. Uh, another onion dude or something. Oh, what are you? You're new. A Kubane. Also, you look friendly. You look really friendly. <laughs> uh. Also, a frog. I'm assuming the frog's not, like, mean, though, right? Whoa, you got a mouth in your mouth, bro? I heard you like mouth, so I got a mouth for your mouth, so you can mouth while you mouth. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up, Nate? Good to see you, man. Let's uh, throw some napalm on him. That should hurt him a little bit, right? And then, I mean, we have, like, a full cypher gate. Okay, so he mouths, and then he mouths again. That's important to, to realize. Uh... Let's Cyclone him, though. That should do a bit of damage. Uh, jump. Uh, jump. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's about to attack, man. I can see it. 
So we have to like, uh, we have to be careful because he, uh, it seems like once you're in an animation, you're kind of in that animation, right? Like there's nothing you can do, but, but wait, Dizzy recovered. We are about to take damage. We should probably heal real quick, honestly. Let's do that. Let's eat uh, some uh, mulberry. It's a good idea to eat shit anyways, because eating shit uh, not only recovers us, but also gives us uh, experience points for our HP. Which, the higher your HP level, the more HP you have, I guess. So, it's kind of a weird way of doing things, honestly, but it works. It makes sense. Ow. Okay, let's just try to finish this, dude. We have, like, a full... Jesus. Up. Get up. I wish you would stop jumping, bro. Like, I'm trying to fight you, but it's really hard to fight you when you keep fucking jumping. There you go. He's dead. And there was a butterfly star spotted, so we should really uh, go find it real quick. Mr. Butterfly, sir. Where art thou? There he is. Where it is. Ooh, we got a new cypher skill. What did we get? Can we just, like, triangle it? Invisible. Renders you immaterial for a short while. So does that mean we don't take any hits? Like, is it invincible or just unable to be spotted? Got some Simply Asia ramen noodles, some steak, and some bone beef broth. Dude, that sounds like a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> is that what you're having for dinner tonight, then? Some steak ramen. Rosimile. Releases 12 Fozons at full bloom. Very cool. Uh, I think the next area is actually a shop. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next area is a shop, so I won't even worry about healing up here or whatever. Let's go see what's what's in the shop area. I love those Simply Asian ramen noodles, man. It's just, I mean, it's just ramen noodles, but in a pack, so without the, the seasoning. So you just make your own and put down in it. Like, it's it's really, it's a pretty simple concept, but it's they're really fucking good. And I like making uh, homemade ramen. That and tacos for everyone else. Everyone else doesn't like ramen? What the hell's wrong with them? Uh, <laughs> a Saturn bangle increases the attack power by 5%. That actually seems really nice. Uh, decreases time to eat food. Detox prevents the effects of poison. All of this seems really nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but hold on. Let's, uh, I need to check out my inventory proper real quick. Right, so we got this Lux Stone, which increases the chance of item drops. And then we have the Ancient Crystal, which revives us once when defeated. So we should probably actually equip the Lux Stone for now. Um, man, I wish we could, like, stack some of these materials and things, too, you know? Uh, can we eat just raw onion? Covers 10 HP. Yes. So we can if we have to. Not that it's necessarily the best idea. And we also just have a luck potion. What do you do? Cover me. Recovers 10 HP and poisonous. Okay. Releases 12 Fozons. Fruit has low experience but contains seeds. Muggle. Okay, so we should probably just go ahead and grow that, right? Plant the, the Rosimile and the Muggle seed. We'll go ahead and do that. Rosimile, plant, and then go over here and plant the Muggle. Because it's just free experience from the sounds of it. Because that one will bloom, which will make this one bloom. And then there will be a few left over for us to just absorb. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's eat some more mulberries, I guess. And then we might have to buy some cheese or something. Because we're going to need a little more HP. We could eat these, but they're also useful for making the whatchamacallits, the, uh, fuck, the, the, the shit, they're useful for making the shit, guys, uh, <laughs> uh, also, let's equip the Luxstone for now, since, uh, we're not fighting any bosses or anything at the moment, ooh, so there's a hard encounter up there, but some sort of, looks like a gourmet band or something like that, so that's fancy, and then... There's another boss there. There's a lot of bosses in this area, huh?
to make sure we absorb everything. It looks like we have. Where did that thing go, though? Mug thank you. And then recovers 30 HP. Very cool. And I think it just gives us another seed every time we every time we use it. Hey, we actually got a level up, so that healed us entirely. Very useful. Like it. Uh, so where's the exit? Like, where are we actually trying to go? I think it's the purple one is what Rue had told us before. So we probably want to explore the bottom sections first. Which means we could just go ahead and go straight into another little mini boss sort of thing. Let's buy a, another recovery item first if we have enough room. And I'm going to Google one thing just because Rue's not here right now. So I have no way of figuring it out on my own. Uh, Odin, Fear, Store, Items. Anything shared between characters, shop list, bags. Um, beginner's guide. This is all for like the other one. I don't want to know about the remake. I just want to know for the original. It doesn't look like there's a bank. Odin Sphere bank. What should I do with surplus fruit and seeds? There we go. I have a ton of seeds that I don't know what to do with. Obviously, the Ruwer seeds are great. Blah, 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 blah. Make chickens and eggs and fruits and then take them to Mario's or just store them until you need them. Make them into Fozon potions. Oh, this is for the other one anyways. This isn't even for the original one that I'm playing. Fuck, man. Everything, everything is just coming up for the remake one. Well, that's not very helpful. I don't think there's a way to store anything. So is there anything we just want to sell? Like, the Lucky Mix, I, I guess we could just use it, right? Just to get it, rid of it. And then having all these bases, I'm sure, is nice. But, like, bruh. Do I really need that many bases? Probably not. I don't want to attack him. I want to talk to him, please. Thank you. Why don't you buy something? Yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to buy something. If, if you'll shut up for a moment and let me buy. Uh, mulberry seeds, muggle seeds, hot cross buns, cheese. Cheese revives a lot. The muggle seeds are nice, though, because we can keep replanting them. Low experience, but contains seeds. I mean, like, we can just keep regrowing it as, as a... Uh, as a source of food. So do we want two of those carried around? Each one we can eat twice, too. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I think I just want another one of those. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, right? How much do we owe? 14 gold? So it just, they give a change automatically. There we go. Thank you. And I will take Le Muggle Seed. Uh, consumables up here, like food consumables, everything else down there. There we go. And since we're going to be fighting another boss, I guess we should go ahead and equip the, 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 the revive thing. And you know what? We'll, uh, we'll drink the luck potion just to get that out of our inventory too. Why not? Right? Just had a lot of ramen packs lately. Uh, Noodle eats ramen all the freaking time too, man. Like, don't get me wrong. I love ramen, but dude, <laughs> they eat a lot of ramen. All right. Luck potion, just to get it out of our inventory. Maybe we'll get better items. I don't know how long it lasts for. Hopefully it lasts long enough. Oh, it has multiple uses too. Oh, you're the same boss. Uh, invisible. I want to know what this does. Okay, so they can't hit us, but we can't hit them either with that. Can we still use spells though? We can, and the spells still work. So use all of the freaking spells possible while we're here. <laughs> okay, we're out of we're out of that though. I don't know if there's any way to cancel the effect of invisible. I'm sure it'll happen on its own eventually, right? And it's important to note, it seems like the monster can still see us just fine. We just can't see them. Oh, the freaking bear healed itself, man. That I did not expect for a short while. Yeah, this is a real long short while, man. <laughs> there we go. 
Ow, ow! Oh shit, we're dizzy too. Uh, dizzy's bad. Dizzy's bad. Get out of dizzy. Oh, Jesus, man, we are taking some freaking hits. Okay. Oh god, dizzy again. Can we use an item while we're dizzy? We cannot. <laughs> that's right. And that's why we got this here, uh, muggle, you see? We just, we eat that real quick and recover. Oh, that was a pitiful amount of experience, or of, uh, HP. Honestly expected a little bit more. Okay, we really have to kill the bear because the bear just keeps healing itself. <laughs> uh, God, are we poisoned? We are poisoned. Okay, so we should probably go ahead and use one of the antidotes that we have. Uh, it's a three-use thing, it seems, so that's fine. Go ahead and use that, and then... Son of a bitch! Stop jumping at me, bro! <laughs> oh, more monsters. Good, that's, that's exactly what we want. Uh... <laughs> Why not go ahead and plant one of the muggle seeds in case there's enough that we get from this boss here? Hopefully it will be enough. To get it to grow, I mean. Uh, jump before... Uh, okay, we need to stop fucking attacking. Shit, the pow thing is gonna take some getting used to, man. Uh, okay, we definitely need to heal. Do we have anything else that will let us heal? Anything at all. We have onions. It's probably not the best thing to eat, but, like, it's the only thing we got right now. So, onions it is. <laughs> also, we need to fucking run. <laughs> Where was that mulberry that we planted? Where? Mulberry? Mr. Mulberry, sir? There you are. Kill the bear. Hopefully the bear will drop enough that we can get the mulberry going. Oh god, because we definitely need the health, man. Oh, you dropped something. What'd you drop? Food? Please be food. A muggle seed. That's not... <laughs> that's not very helpful. We're gonna die. <laughs> we are so dead. Oh yeah, nope, that's it. Oh, we got five. Nope. There we go. Okay, well... <laughs> we're we're kind of fucked. Jump! Ah, the fucking double mouth thing, dude. I'm back. Did I miss a boss fight? Uh, yeah, but only, like, area bosses. Not not any of the, the main bosses, so... No biggie. Oh, you know what I need to do really quick, actually, is plant these other muggle seeds so we get more, more food. More food, very helpful. Alright, area complete. Thank the goodness. <laughs> glide attacks are your friends? Are the glide attacks where, like, the one that, that does, like, a downward swing? Like, that one? Or, like, that one, I mean? Right there? Is that the one you're talking about? Also, I should probably absorb some of this shit. Alright. Pick up my muggles. Yeah, the second one. I thought that's what you meant, but I wasn't positive. And we used our ancient thing, so we have no more revives, which is not very good, especially for, uh, you know, whenever we get to the area boss. Depicted in the Book of Botany, Baramet, also called the Scythian Lamb, is an amazing plant that grows sheep instead of fruit? The meat that comes from these sheep is at least as good as that of normal sheep that takes months to raise. What? That sounds weird as shit. We are pretty hurt, though. Also, if you ever can, there's a necklace that reduces poison shit. I think the shopkeep actually did have that. I'm not sure I had enough uh, gold to pick it up. We can go back and check in just a moment, though. Also, I noticed that the Cubs Bane says it's poison. Does it actually hurt us if we eat it, or... It, no. <laughs> just just out of curiosity. Uh, Baromet. Ripens with 12 Phozons. Grow sheep with high HP recovery. Okay, so we probably want to grow some of that. 30 HP, 120 EXP. Can we get another level from one of these Muggle Seeds? No, it doesn't. I honestly forget what I asked. <laughs> uh, hmm. 
I, I'm sure I asked something that was uh, semi-useful to know, but uh, <laughs> I forget what it is, man. My bad. Uh, okay. So there's another shop peep down there. Should we... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked the cubs being hurt too. Okay, that's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> should we... We should probably fight everything, right? We get another seed of some sort. Whatever the hell that potion is. There we get another base. Can you mix... Like... Okay, so... The tutorial told us to mix a material with a seed to make a level of base. I guess we have to kind of do that. Huh. Okay. Because you have to mix, what, the base with mulberry seeds or whatever to actually be able to do anything. Um, let's replant our muggle. At least one of them. I don't imagine... There will be too many Fozons available for our plant in this fight. I'm hoping there's at least enough to grow the plant, though. Gotta let our pal recover. Do the bees release Fozons? They do. Oh, and there's even more, uh... Thing is spawning. Wave 2! This boss is gonna be tough. Get as much as I can. Sounds like a plan to me, man. I don't have any freaking Fozon stored up. Why are these frogs fighting me? I just want to be your friend, frogs. Oh, Muggle. Okay, uh, so since we got that one, let's go ahead and plant another one. Try to get as many of them going as is possible. Oh, God, we're poisoned again. So it looks like the poison wears out on its own after a little while, which is nice. Uh, but I probably shouldn't rely on that. Because health is harder to come by than anything else right now. Uh, pick up the antidote, please. Also, we should pick that before it fucking gets destroyed. Because you're in a swamp. Makes sense, honestly. <laughs> the amulet reduces the time it hurts you. That's what the amulet does. Oh, very cool, very cool. Makes sense. Are there any Fozons that we can pull? Getting a little bit more of uh, our magic ability would be nice. Doesn't seem... Well, okay, there's a couple. At least we got one level of uh, Cypher. Got another C, that's fine, whatever. So getting the higher ranks, that uh, increases your reward, right? Like what you get out of the reward. Not that one, go into the proper inventory screen. Uh, let's put the muggles up here. We have so many bases, we might just have to sell a couple of them. Like there's, there's way too many, man. <laughs> We have, what, one, two, three, four of them. And since we don't have mulberry seeds other than this one, we can't really even do anything with it. Also, since we already fucked up and used our other stone when we didn't mean to, we might as well go ahead and re-equip our luck stone to get better drops. Let's do a quick run through here and see if we hear any squeaks. We did. A little squeaky squeak. Ah, two of them. Two onions. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Oh, an area stay in certain levels, so if you go back to grind the enemies, won't be tougher. That's cool. Alright, it looks like we went all the way around. I'm not hearing any more squeaky squeaks. But we can eat some stuff. Uh, so the onion doesn't give us any XP? So we probably shouldn't eat the onions unless we're desperate. Just use those to make potions. Um, we could use one material and an onion. What'd that make? That makes an antidote. Okay. So one material and one onion makes a single level of antidote. A material 
a Mulberry Seed. That increases it to level one. And then we can take the level one. Where'd it go? The level one material. And mix it with an onion to make a level two material? Okay. Didn't expect that to happen. Well, if we get another material now, we can make nap napalm, right? Because a level two material and an onion makes napalm. What does a level two material in Cubs Bay make? Non-classic note can only be used for alchemy or making food. And even then, I think making food is a remake thing. Yeah, I haven't seen anything about making food, at least. Um, now, like, you can eat it just to gain back a tiny bit of health, but it's it's only a tiny bit of health. No idea? Let's try it, <laughs> Cubs Bane. That made... Is that a level 3 base? That's a level 3 base. Okay. <laughs> what does a level 3 base and a Cubs Bane make? A level 4 base. <laughs> uh... Huh. Yep. I was, uh... <laughs> wasn't really what I was trying to do, I admit. Okay, there's gotta be, like, a guide somewhere, right? Uh, Odin Sphere Game FAQs. I'm sure somebody has, like, a, a guide of what all of the potion mixes are. Guides, boss, cons, recipe. Legal junk updates, introduction, muggle seed, grows a muggle fruit, blah, 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 alchemy recipe. So you want to make some potions, huh? Well, it's a pretty good idea since a lot of them will help you quite a bit throughout the course of the game. Uh, okay. Mix A, mix B, C, D, elixir, fire sprites. This isn't very easy to read, I'll, uh, I'll admit. Oh, there is a kitchen, apparently. At, at least in this guy there is. How do you how do you select something else though? Because during the uh, during the uh, the the intro thing, the the tutorial sequence, that's all it did. It just had me click that, and then had me click on whatever I wanted to mix it with. I also just made a level eight base, so uh, <laughs> I didn't realize you could mix bases together. Hold on. So if I mix that base with that base, does that make like a, that makes nothing, just it stays at level zero? It didn't even like go up a level or anything? <laughs> it's square, right? No, square is uh, just attack. Uh, are you frozen? I am not frozen. Am I frozen on your screen? It's not for me, like in my uh, preview page, so. So wait, you're saying you think I need to select the base and then select something to mix with it and hit square yeah that doesn't do anything material I do see it says something on the screen there though 1155 I'm not sure what any of this means tbh Give me a bit and I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got the, the scrolls too, though. Like, alchemy mix A. Ingredients, material zero plus onion. Or material six plus cubs bane. Yeah, so it seems like your material mix has to be at a specific level and then you mix it with something. Seems like the only way to really make anything. So napalm needs a material two plus onion. And that's the only stuff we technically know how to make so far. So there's the list, though, here that I could use. So if I wanted to make uh, regen, I need ingredients eight, which I have, plus tourney. I don't know what a tourney is, but is there anything else we can make with material eight? Variants? Extra phosons? Gold? Elixir and blizzard. Oh, so if I mix it with a Cubs Bay now, I'll get Blizzard, which I'm assuming would be cool. Like, <laughs> do that, do that. It'll help you. Okay. 
So we need to find another Cubs Bane. So we just need to listen for more squeakies. Got it. We can listen for squeakies while we're running around. That's easy enough. Uh, but we really need to also get some health. So let's see. We want to... We already killed all those areas. Let's uh, work our way down now, I guess. So we'll go... No, don't go on the menu. Where... This one. Okay. We need to go down here. Let's go! I'm assuming Blizzard's pretty dope then. Since, like, you really want us to get it. I'm doing one quick lap around to listen for squeakies. I don't know if the, the, the squeakies respawn after we clear an area or not. But, like, yeah. Blizzard rocks. I mean, I beg to differ. Blizzard's okay at best. Get it. They're also a game development studio. I'm sorry, bad joke. Uh, <laughs> squeakies! Squeaky squeakums. Uh, also, do we have any more gold? Yes, yes, yes. We did not get any more gold, so we're, we're broke. But it's the uh, detox charm. Yeah, it's 100 gold, though, man. It's very, very expensive. I'm sure it would uh, be very nice to have, but yeah, we're kind of broke. <laughs> I don't know if we can afford that right now. Sell shit? Do we have anything really to sell, though? We have, like, what do we have exactly? We got the muggles, but we kind of need those to not die. Uh, th this, if we can grow it, has a high HP recovery, so I think we should keep that. And then we just have, you know, our lucky mix, which I guess we don't really need the lucky mix, but, like, we might as well use it, right? So... I mean, you can give him literally apple core, so you can sell anything. Yeah, but we don't have anything in our inventory, though, so, like, anything to sell. Uh, just an onion. Okay, I mean, we'll take it. It's a mixing ingredient for later. And it seems like they do respawn whenever we come through, since, you know, they're here now and they weren't a moment ago. Where's the squeak? I heard the squeak. I want a poison one, please. Apparently, I have to make blizzard. <laughs> But yeah, like, I get that he'll buy anything, but we still have to have that thing to, to sell, right? Can't sell shit we don't have. At least not in this game, you know? Can't make up NFTs here. If we could, that'd be a whole other story. Uh, <laughs> do we think we're going to get 12 things? Can I go ahead and grow the sheep? Do you think we'll be able to grow the sheep here? Or is that a no-go? Uh, yeah, the bears release a fair amount. I should probably fucking run away from the bear for a moment, though. And then plant my sheep. Uh, bear met. Plant that. And then start... Oh! We got, we got rude dudes now. I don't like the bears. <laughs> the bears are scary. <laughs> Oh, wait, was that it? Oh, no. Hopefully that's enough, man. I don't think that's enough to make it grow. Uh, Hey, we got S rank, though. That's cool. Well. Shit. I honestly expected that to be a little bit more of a fight than what we ended up getting. We got yogurt. A muggle seed. And a material. Uh, is there any way to reclaim a plant that's been planted? <laughs> Shit, dude. I think we fucked up. Unless you're the one that creates things. No, you're the, the muggle one. Uh... Well... <laughs> hmm... <laughs> I think we done fucked ourselves out of some delicious plant-based sheep. So that's shitty. There's a squeak, though. We'll take the squeak. There is a Fozon alchemical potion. Yeah, but do I have whatever I need to make it? I got the guide pulled up here. Control F. Fozon. P H O. Fozon. Extra Fozons. Uh. Da -da -da -da. Fozons to grow, Fozons to get, blah, 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 blah. 
extra photons of mix X. Yeah, we would need our level eight base plus habanaristo. Which, uh, yeah, we can't really make that right now. <laughs> as far as I know, there's no way for me to randomly get a, a habaneristo or whatever the hell it's called. So, sadly, I think we wasted that. I, uh, yeah, I expected it to, you know. I expected to get a little bit more from that fight than, than eight or whatever we got. Well, let's check out this other shop, see if there's anything cool there. <laughs> With the, the tiny bit of money that we have. Oof, you won't be getting that anytime soon? Yeah. I didn't figure as much. <laughs> uh, didn't I just kill a bunch of your brethren? Sorry about that. Just a nice goblin, eh? Just don't ask where my wares came from. Hee <laughs> hee. That's in the land of the Volcano King? I'll pretend like I know what that is. A speed belt draw ring. That just automatically... Yeah, pick stuff up for us. Power stone, luck stone, spirit stone. Another ancient crystal would be pretty cool, but nah. I mean, some hot cross buns or cheese would probably be a decent buy, right? For the ex or for the for the health with the boss fight that's coming up at some point. So we'll go ahead and grab that, I suppose. Chapter three, I think. No four. So basically, not for a long time. <laughs> Got it. And I didn't hear any more squeakums. Double checking real quick. Yeah, no. No squeakums. How far are we from leveling up our health? We need 640 experience to level up our health again. And we currently have 120, 120, 120. So you can use these twice. So we might actually be able to level up if we really wanted to. Let's uh let's go to the next area though before we try to level up the next fight. I don't think it was a particularly hard fight, right? Uh we wanted to go down, I think, this way. The plant doesn't stay after we leave, right? I'm assuming not. It would be weird if it did. Yeah, and it's not looking like it. Yeah, we made a full circle. Oh, wait, squeak. Another onion! I just want a, a, a poison boy. Oh, my bags are full? Both of them are full? Or at least it should. Maybe that's a remake thing or something, because, yeah, I'm not seeing it here anywhere, man. What's the yogurt do again? Potion that increases the experience value of food. Oh. Well, in that case, maybe we should just go ahead and eat a couple muggles. Get our health back up to full. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll uh, we'll use that. Eat some muggles. Yogurt, please, and thank you. Where 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 are you? Oh, and it has three uses. Well, that's not gonna help us clear up any inventory space, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Do that, and then does it say how much now? It doesn't. Restore a little health. Get some experience. I don't know how much experience we're getting. Presumably it's some decent amount. What are we at? Yeah, we only need 90 more now, so we should have only got 360 from that. So 367. So it's not quite double, I don't think, but it's a it's a pretty decent increase. Quite a bit more actually, yeah, from the looks of it. Oh. That should be level up. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So maxed out hit points. Still can't pick that up though. So I guess we could uh we have a shit ton of muggle seeds now. What? What's the material with the muggle seed do? That takes us up to level one. And if we have level two, we can mix it with the onion to make napalm. So let's do that. Because some napalm would be handy. Material plus onion takes us to level two. Yep. And then level two plus onion should be napalm. There we go. So it gives us a little bit of a hint. I didn't know potion making released bosons. We could have, like, just in general making potions. Well, I guess we could have tried to do that to, to grow our seed, but I don't think that would have 
Worked out, TBH. Shit, we have a bunch of onions. We can actually make another napalm right now. Let's do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we can't mix it with that. That'll make an antidote. And we have a lot of antidote already, actually. Uh, we can use another muggle seed, I think, though. Just because, like, the muggle seeds are very nice for experience, but they also take up a lot of inventory space. So, yeah. But now that we have a level one material, we can mix that with another onion. And then mix that with another onion. Just onions for days, man. Uh, level two with onion to make a napalm. There we go. Those napalms should come in handy for the boss, too. They do uh, maybe not as much as Blizzard, but they do some, some good damage. So if we can find a poison boy now, then we should be pretty good there. Um, okay, I was trying to keep consumables up top and the rest of the stuff down here. Like that, I guess. That looks okay. Alright, uh, let's go down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I heard a squeak. Collect all the squeaks, even if they are just onions. <laughs> I don't think we could ever go hungry in this game, man. There are onions literally everywhere. Very good, thank you. I'm glad you approve, man. <laughs> So do we risk planting something, or do we not? Like, I'm tempted to plant a Muggle Seed, but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get enough experience from these guys to make it worth it. Or not experience, but enough uh, Fozons. Okay, it looks like we are getting enough Fozons. Holy crap. Oh, and the chests look like they only last a certain amount of time. So we want to break those open quick whenever we spot them. That's good to know. I didn't know that last time. I was wondering why all of the uh, why all of the chests kind of disappeared. I thought maybe it had something to do with me, like finishing the level. Oh, dude, there's a butterfly too. Holy shit! Oh, we're dizzy. We're dizzy and we're poisoned. This is going well. This is going really well. <laughs> uh, and there's a butterfly. Uh, okay, we need to use an antidote. Oh, we ended up mixing that one antidote, but we should have the other one here somewhere. Yeah, this one. Oh my lord, why are these guys dizzying me so much? I was trying to save some of our spells for, uh, for, uh, whatchamacallit. Also, we're level two poison now? Holy shit, dude. You sure you don't want to turn down the difficulty? Yeah, I mean, I probably should, but it's fine. Let's, uh, let's use some Cyclone. It's fine. We got this. Even though we're poisoned again. And the frame rate, bro. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. There are so many things here, man. Watch, I'm going to plant the mulberry seed. And then all of a sudden... Or, I'm sorry, the muggle seed. And then all of a sudden, there's not going to be any more uh, Fozons. Uh, we should probably use something to... We should probably... Uh, dude, is that our last antidote, though? It is. That feels bad, man. Recovered from poison. That's good. What do we get? We got a B. Is that Blizzard? Is B Blizzard? You posted a pic of your ramen? Hell yeah, dude. I have to uh, check. I'm assuming you mean on Discord, right? Wait, it didn't grow, did it? <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, it should be pretty close, though. Right, so if we take... Do we have... We, we picked up a base material somewhere. And we need uh, antidotes, actually. So let's take the material. Mix it with... I told you not to risk it. Well, if I had done it earlier, we would have been fine. Uh, so we could make another napalm. But we really need some antidote. Is there a way to make more than one antidote at a time? Antidote. Six plus cup. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Antidote. So it needs to be level six plus a cubsbane. I'm guessing that makes like the big one. 
but we can mix a single base with an onion to make an antidote, right? So we made an antidote. Is that enough for it to grow? There. There you go. See? It's all fine. We got our muggle back, and we can heal a little bit of stuff. <laughs> Blizzard, holy shit. So what I'm hearing is... Oh, and that did make a three. Oh, so we're fine. No freaking worries, man. We're, we're good. Um, let's get to the proper inventory screen so I can sort this a little bit better. So put the onion up here. Get the onion down here. So we have two napalms, a blizzard, which apparently is very good. Freezes the enemy for a short period of time. Okay, I can see how that'd be good. And then we got cheese and mulberries, which we're probably going to have to eat now because we are freaking hurt, dude. <laughs> we took a surprising amount of damage in that fight. But that's, that's it, though. This whole area is cleared down here. If at any point we actually die, die then uh then i'll consider switching to the lower difficulty mode but right now i'm having fun just uh with it being challenging and if i get a little bit better at the game we'll uh, we'll be in a pretty good position <laughs> but right now though that's a lot to ask god cheese heals so much but it's only one time use which makes me think that the hot cross buns may actually be better you want to save before the boss is there a way to save mid game There you go. We're almost back up to full health. We have a couple onions. We got all these potions. Two napalms. A blizzard. I don't know, man. I think we're in a pretty decent spot right now. I think we're doing okay. Oh, I heard a squeak. What are you? You're new? A carotier? Huh. Okay, I mean, we'll take you. I don't know what you're used for. What can we make with the carrot here? We can make an elixir, which restores a thousand HP. Holy shit, dude. Uh, or we can just make a healing tonic if we get another base. That's very nice. Okay. Oh, these things are used in a lot. Level two makes painkiller, which I'm assuming decreases our... Uh, our uh, damage that we take. Unlimited power if we you mix it with a level four. Extremely useful, used for the big bosses. Unlimited pow and ammo for a short duration. Dude, <laughs> that sounds really good. Holy shit, okay. So a level four is probably what we want to get if we can. Uh, not that I think we'll be able to before the boss, but maybe. Another onion. I mean, we'll collect it. Because why not? And it seems like that's it. Okay. So if we go here. Oh, there's a save option right here. Okay, let's save right now, actually. Yeah, why not? Save. Just in case we do end up dying or something. If we can save anywhere at any time, then why wouldn't we just save all the time, you know? It's better than losing a bunch of progress. Oh, shit. Uh, while that's doing that, let's pull up this board. Hey, there you go, man. Hell yeah. Needs a little more broth for my taste, but it looks really good, bro. It looks really good. Of course, I also just love ramen, so like... <laughs> you know something that's really good? It's not traditional in any way at all, as far as I'm concerned. Or as far as I know, I mean. But uh, mixing a little bit of sour cream down in with ramen... Really fucking good, dude. It's just a nice flavor. It adds a little bit to the, uh, to the richness, to the creaminess of it. It's also a nice hack if you accidentally add, like, too much salt or something like that. Hey, another carrot. Fuck yeah, dude. Give me all the carrots. So wait, wasn't it a level 8 plus carrot that gave us the elixir? So if we get into a really bad spot with this boss, we can try doing that. I mean, hopefully we won't get into that bad of a situation where we need to waste a, a level 8 base. But if we do, then at least we know we have a backup plan. 
What were you selling again? And how much money do I actually have? 15 gold? Recovers 50 HP, but we can use that twice. So it recovers more HP to, than this, but less experience. Which honestly, I think I'm fine with. Let's get a hot cross bun as a backup. Uh, I don't really know. Just take whatever, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, my bags are full. What the fuck? Uh, I didn't realize my bags were full. Shit. Okay. What does mixing a base... Oh, we don't have a base, do we? We just have that level 8. Well, fuck. Okay, tell you what. It... I don't really like the uh, idea of doing it, but we're just going to eat an onion. <laughs> Screw it then. There we go. Onion done. Yeah, some more was saving it to add as uh, as you eat. You fried the steak a little, then added half the broth and fried the other half. Some more and topped it with that. So it looks really good, man. Um, okay, I don't think we've actually fought any of these encounters yet. So let's go up there and try not to die. Try not to die. This is what, a level 3 encounter? Oh wait, Alchemy Tutorial Part 3. Uh, problem game. I have no materials. <laughs> we, If we drop an item, we can pick it back up though, I presume. Right? So let's, uh, let's drop the onion and pick up that. Some materials have numbers greater than the numbers specified for each recipe. Okay. I see that. Is it staying there? It's staying there, at least for now. Okay. We'll drop a, uh, yes, yes, you cap. <laughs> huh. What, what was that, Rue? <laughs> yes, yes, you cab. Is that some sort of slur? Are you, are you trying to say something? <laughs> uh, I don't want to drop anything too important just in case, so I'm going to drop one of those. Even though I'm pretty sure you're saying yes, yes, you can, but like. By mixing materials together, the resulting material will have a number formed from the product of the numbers of the components. Mix together 9 and 10. Okay. So, 9. And 10. 90? Holy fuck. Uh, okay. So, we did that. Now what? The material's 10 digits denotes its grade. Materials with high grades release more phosons when used for potions. Oh, okay. Um, well, we're going to have an encounter here, too. So I'm definitely going to pr plant the muggle seed now. Shit, it won't let me. Uh, that's fine. We can mix it and then quickly do it, hopefully. Um, okay, so mix that and that. And then I'm guessing we'll just get a bunch of... Yes. Uh, can I please plant my seed now? Thank you. Oh, that's a lot, lot. Holy shit, dude. That was a bunch. Wait, why did it not grow? Did, okay, there it goes. It's just being fucking slow. So how much how much antidote did we get to that? By multiplying mixes effectively, you can create potions and produce phosons at the same time. Makes potion are treated as double. So did we still only get one set of potion for that, though? Or, or one set of antidote? Or no, wait. We, we already found out it does make three. So it always makes three. But we can get more Phosons by making higher tiers. Okay. That... I could see that being useful in, in some context. What I really wish we could do is, like, mix these together to stack them or something. That would actually be pretty useful. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like that's an option, sadly. Uh... What do we got? Anything? There's, like... I don't really want to get rid of anything here, though. Let's pick up the Muggle... Pick up the alchemy part two. New text added to the archive. Uh, okay. So pick up everything we can. It seems like the carrots are easier to come by. Or I'm sorry, the onions are easier to come by. So I'm going to pick up the carrot, actually. Oh, God. Don't kill me, please, bears. Ow. Oh god, there's chests. The chests are dropping more stuff. Thank you for the stuff, but like, I don't have space. <laughs> nope. My chest. Kill all bees. 
because now Ruby came out good. Could have used more seasoning and soy. I mean, you can always add more soy, though. <laughs> right? You can just dump more soy in it as you're eating it if it needs more soy. Ooh, a level 10 base. Uh, but our bag's full. Okay. Um, Jesus, man. I guess... Uh, is there... Okay, well, we can take that level 10 base and mix it with something. Let's pick up this shit here real quick, too. Painkiller cuts damage in half. Material 2 plus Cubs Bane or Material 2 plus... Okay, we can make that painkiller, right? The painkiller could come in handy. And we can do that by mixing the 10. The Beast of Despair feeds on man and destroys hope. The Unleashed Frenzy of Death yearns for the light of life. The Advancing Inferno scorches the throne's surroundings. And the cauldron that breathes despair, the blood of the ancients boils. When Leventhin... Is that a uh, a typo for Leviathan? Or, I don't know. Last of the dragons devours the stone of blood. The past shall be closed and void will cover the world. Prophecy of the end. That sounds nice. Mulberry seed and mulberry. Uh, so we need to like drop some stuff. We have so much shit in our bag right now. I'm hoping we can get more bags at some point. We need health so we can go ahead and heal. So we can eat the hot cross bun. That'll help. There we go. That takes us back up to full health and gives us a little bit of space. With that, we can pick up the base 10 material. And if we mix that with a mulberry seed, we get level 11. And then if we mix the 11... What happens if we mix the 11 with that 8 that we have? We get 22. Or no, that's with the blizzard. Where's the level 8 one? There it is. I'm assuming 88. Holy fuck. Okay. So we can go ahead and do that and then still save it for the blizzard later. Because that'll give us, uh, that'll just give us a blizzard and a shit ton of bosons. So we can go ahead and do that. And then... You never fucked with alchemy because you were always on easy mode. That's the actual name of the dragon that will end the world. You'll meet him soon. Oh, shit. Okay. Not scary or anything. <laughs> Alright, so we can pick up two things. Do we want the onion? Well, here. We'll pick up the mulberry and we'll just eat it real quick. If we just eat it, we'll get... I mean, it won't do shit for our health right now. But we'll get 70 experience, which is, you know, helpful. And then pick up the onion. There we go. We got everything. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do... Well, this is a level 5 encounter, so we'll go ahead and save in case I royally fuck it up, but... But, yeah. We're gonna do that first. I think we're gonna get a ring from it. I, I'm assuming it's, like, a gourmet ring based off of the picture, the picture on the map, which seems like it could be helpful, but at the same time, we're still kind of struggling with inventory space. Odin Sphere. PS2. More... Storage. Also, do we need to do a... Oh, shit. I'm sorry to anyone that was watching and an ad just ran in the middle of gameplay. I wasn't paying enough attention to the timer. Um, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> sorry. But anyways, uh, bags. Can we get more bags? Is there a limit to how many bags you can have? I don't want to buy too many small bags. Oh, wait. So you can just buy bags? You can... You can hold six. Okay. So we can get more somehow. I just don't know how, per se. Well, like, you buy it, apparently, but... We haven't found any to buy. That's good, because, like, we'll... We'll, uh... <laughs> we'll need more. Wait, what? We should have been good? Nope. We've been live for an hour and 14 minutes. <laughs> So, <laughs> I think maybe you're a little mixed up because you weren't here for the beginning of the stream, maybe, Rue? But, yeah, yeah, the auto ad uh, kind of ran there in the middle of gameplay, so... My apologies to anyone that's not subscribed. <laughs> I promise that's not something we do very often. 
In fact, it's something we specifically try not to do. <laughs> oh, go, girl, go. Uh, absorb the Pozons. Bears! Uh, actually, before we... Since this is a level 5 encounter, there should be a lot of people. So, you know what? Let's plant the Muggle Seed real quick. So we can get more Muggles growing. And then let's also use spells every now and then. I mean, like, <laughs> it's not your fault, Rue. Like, <laughs> it's okay. I don't blame you at all, dude. You're good. Really, at the end of the day, it's my job to keep track of. But, you know, I'm just not... <laughs> when I get sucked into a game, sometimes I uh, don't pay the most attention to, to timers and things. <laughs> uh... Oh, there were a couple of squeakies back there. Uh, you should be growing now, right? Yes. Which means... We'll go ahead and pick you up, but we probably want to go ahead and absorb any photons that are out there. Was that it? Did the plant take the rest? I think the plant took the rest. <laughs> Kill these things before too long. Like, it, it's this weird mix of you have to balance whether you want to get the highest rank possible or collect absolutely everything possible, right? You have to, like, uh, pick your priorities. Because if you take longer to collect it, if you take the time to collect everything, it takes longer to beat the level, obviously. But you get, uh, both my muggles are grown. Let's grow some mulberries then. Um, but you get more stuff. Um, and a lower score. Lower score means less reward at the end of the level. Also, uh, can I revive my pal, please? <laughs> uh, I don't really want to use more magic. I kind of want to save the magic for the boss. Because magic is very helpful. We're gonna need to eat soon, though. Our health is getting low. Are you dead? No, you're still alive. Oh, there's frogs. I hate the frogs. Frogs, I think, are what poisoned me. Do we eat now? The timer's not running. I guess we could, but the timer will start running. Nah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. I don't think we need to, to eat right this moment. Just kill this bear before he revives any more health, though. And he's dead, right? So, bees? Uh, do we have any more plants? Because there's a lot more stuff. Preferably a plant that we don't really care about. We do not. Okay. So, let's absorb the Phozons before they disappear. Because we were informed that they do disappear. Also, I think I just let a chest disappear. That's, that's on me. Oh, that seemed good. Combo the hell out of them, bro long as we have power uh uh bees probably poison they do they definitely poison okay yep we're hurt uh <laughs> let's use some of that uh antidote that we've been crafting eh not the napalm not the yogurt uh antidote and then maybe go ahead and eat i was trying not to let the timer get too high but uh yeah we're we're not in a great spot right now so <laughs> muggle it up Another muggle, please. We should have taken some yogurt, actually, before we did that. Oh, we got to remember, too, there is another, uh... Uh, some squeakies. Alright, so let's absorb all this shit. Let's, uh, check that squeaky, because if the squeaky is a, uh... Oh, D, that was a real bad rank. I mean, it did take us, like, three minutes, didn't it? Anyways, if that squeaker is a, uh... A, a, a poison dude, then we can, uh, make the really good potion get a shit ton of Phozons from that. Decreases the time taken to eat food. Okay, so that, like, it sounds neat, but honestly, we're probably gonna end up selling that. Just TBH, you know? Ah, they're both onions. Shit. I feel like we're going to end up just eating a lot of stuff. Also, collect Phozons. Hello? Wasn't there a Phozon? It must have just disappeared or something. I could have swore I just saw one. Anyways, let's uh, pick some stuff up. Or I guess eat some stuff first. 
it's honestly kind of useless here. Yeah, I mean, it would let you heal a little bit quicker, right? In battle, but I like, got the end of the day, man. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. So let's just, uh, I guess, eat some onions and shit. Uh, we eat two onions. Actually, we have like three onions sitting on the map for us. So if we have any more onions, eat them all. We don't. I, I kind of want to eat, or I kind of don't want to eat the carrots, but we might have to just for inventory space. Eat the mulberries. Do we, I think we drink some yogurt and eat our muggles now too. See if we can level up again before we get into the, the boss fight. Let's drink the yogurt. And then start downing all the food. <laughs> that gives us experience. Oh, well, shit. That was already a level. That's not what I expected. Okay. Uh, we need 810 H or experience. We might actually be able to get that. So we're going to go ahead and eat everything anyways. We might be able to get to the next HP level. Probably not, but we should get close at least. It'll kind of suck that we're going to be out of food for the boss fight, but that's fine. That just means we gotta get good, you know? Uh, oh. Wait, was that everything? <laughs> hmm. Alright, you know what? Maybe it wasn't worth using the yogurt and eating two extra muggles. 410. Shit, we're so... We got, like, halfway there, too. That's annoying. Whatever. Pick up all the onions. Make sure there's no more squeakies. Uh, I hate to leave the onion, but can't really do anything with it, so. Uh, we'll save and once we go back to the other area. Right outside the boss zone. Any Oh, there's a squeaky. Please, no onion. It's an onion. Useless. Okay. I mean, not literally useless, but like, it's not what we're looking for. Ah, uh, oh, you're a carrot. I got excited. Uh, no, no carrot. Uh, another onion. And... Oh, oh, maybe. Bruh! <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I can't believe we haven't found a single, like, another one of those, those poison bros. Alright, whatever. Let's save. Just making all the save slots, because whatever. <laughs> if we royally fuck something up, we can roll back. Which is, you know, somewhat helpful. Alright, uh, where are we going? That's not the map. I think it's, yeah, it's this one over here. Ooh, you know what we can do is go to the shop and sell some stuff real quick, actually. That's what we're going to do. Should have done that before we uh, before we save. But anyways, going to go to the shop and sell a couple things so that we can have a little bit more inventory space for whatever the boss ends up dropping. Because I'm sure we'll get some stuff from, from it. Why don't you buy something? How about I sell you something instead? Like uh, this gourmet ring that you'll give me two whole gold for. <laughs> whatever. Sell it anyways. Uh, onions are literally, like, all over the place. And you'll give us two gold for them, so we might end up selling a couple of those. The lucky mix I always forget to actually use. Plus, I have the lucky stone right now, anyways. I guess we... I mean, we don't really have enough space for drops anyways. Do we just sell the lucky stone? It's only three gold, though, so I don't really know if it's worth selling. Uh... A level 88 material sold for two gold? Yeah, no, I, I think we'll pass on that, man. Does anything sell for anything? It does not. Not really. Just the antidote sells for five. That's actually not a terrible way of making money, then. Well, no, because the base probably sells for, like, two. Yeah. I, hmm. Yeah, I, I guess, honestly, we just... You know, no, we'll, we'll sell the onions. I mean, it's not much gold, right? But, like, onions seem to be everywhere. So we might as well sell them just to make a little bit of money. And then we'll buy a uh, hot cross 
fun so that we have a little bit of healing ability and then we'll uh then we'll call it there okay time to fight the boss uh this way i'm pretty sure yes it is it is indeed I'm just checking to see if we can pick up any more onions real quick. Probably not since we just came through this area. I think you have to go a couple screens away before things respawn. But oh, with that said though, there's a squeak. Either we missed it or they do respawn quicker than that. Alright, now we can go to the boss. And probably, probably get fucked in the process. But <laughs> it's fine though. I'm sure nothing bad will happen at all. You can't remember, sadly? Yeah, I mean, like, some stuff respawned. Uh, they the one onion respawned, at least, so... I'm guessing you don't have to go... Maybe it's only, like, enemy encounters that respawn when you go two or three screens away? I don't know. Chapter 2, Act 4, The Forest Lagoon. Ladies, can we all just get along? Or Velvet, should I say? Our half-sister? <laughs> I mean, Velvet kind of seems to be in the right here, I'm just saying. Cataclysm Womb? That's a hell of a... a descriptor? Hahaha. <laughs> The one and only, I'm assuming. Shosenは滅びた国の名神。真に受ける者はいない。大陸全土で戦争が始まり、勝ち残った国が全て死敗する。お前たちの国で信じられる未来こそ、魔王に都合の良い巨言なのです。王が皆を騙しているというのか。
whatchamacallit would work on her, though. The napalm, even if she does like fire. Right? Oh, I was wondering how. I thought you were flying for a moment or something. It does give her small bits of damage, though. Good to know. But uh, I think it's too late for us this time, Em. We'll try it one more time on hard mode, and then we'll uh, <laughs> and then we'll probably drop down the difficulty. Uh, jump. Can we knock her down? I don't know if we can or not. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. One death. Not that big of a deal. We'll try again. We saved right outside of here, so it's not that big, or not that that bad. Oh, actually, it just retries instantly. We don't even have to worry about reloading or anything. Excellent. Even better. I mean, and the blizzard's still useful, right? It's not having to deal with all the uh, the enemies popping up and shit is nice. Uh, you are way closer than I thought you were. Uh, it looks like I'm leaning back trying to get away from her while she's trying to, like, lean in for a kiss or something. It's a little weird. Yeah, back up, bitch. Thank you. Now, do you like napalm? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. She does have flame resist, though, so it's not a ton of damage, but it's some damage. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she's, like, all the way over there now. Shit! I'm a dumbass! I ran into my own cyclone again. Monsters have arrived. Uh, fuck that. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Fire still hurts, but not a lot. Yeah, I see that. It does some damage, but, uh, like, I mean, it's better than nothing, but yeah, it, uh, definitely wasn't the, the best uh, type of uh, attack on her. Oh, man, your chains kind of hurt, bro. But while you're stuck up there, I could probably cyclone you, right? As long as I remember to kind of stay the fuck away from it. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, she, like, ran way away. Ow. Also, ow. <laughs> and we're poisoned. Yep, I think it's... I think we're gonna have to drop it down. On normal. I don't think we're gonna go to easy, but on normal mode. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I mean, we got her like halfway down. It's not that bad. If I was playing like solo, I would consider leaving it on hard mode, but... For sake of stream, yeah, I think we need to drop down to normal. Which hopefully we can just do from the menu. If not, we'll just have to restart the game and do it from the uh, from the main menu, I presume. Ah, oh, difficulty right there. Normal. Difficulty is set to normal. So, wait, does that just go into effect instantly? Oh, yeah, no, I guess it does, huh? Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the bits, love. Holy shit, we are taking way less damage now, aren't we? Uh, stop flying. <laughs> Cyclone. Another Cyclone, maybe a little farther back so it does more damage. Uh, we'll leave the last one, the Invisible, for if we get into some real trouble at some point. And I was curious, do things heal more damage now or anything like that? No, it seems like all the heals and everything are the same. We just take less damage and whatnot. We take less, she takes more kind of deal. Got it. Uh, ooh, nope, back up. Cyclone, not Cyclone, uh, da 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 napalm. Words, words are hard. You missed! Oh god, okay, she still hurts. <laughs> That's fine, we have, we have, uh, we have options. We haven't used our blizzard yet. So let's use that so we can stop dealing with all these stupid enemies that are popping up. Or not have to deal with all the stupid enemies that are popping up. And then, uh, let's eat our heals now. And then we'll go back in for go back in for another round here. Also, suck up any things that are available. So we can try to get more Lady <laughs> Velvet. Look, I don't appreciate the sass, young lady. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright. Are you dead? You're dead. 
Uh, can I hit you with napalm while you're up there? Where'd you go? Stop running away! How am I supposed to fight you if you're running away? Uh, can I throw napalm that far? I hope I can. Napalm! Yeah, there we go. Get her while she's down. Go for it. Yeah, uh, bro. <laughs> Uh, so when she's doing that, I feel like it's best to just kind of stay the fuck away from her. Uh, we need more health, sadly. I don't want to eat the carrots and stuff, but we might have to. Um, it's only 10, 20, it's only 30 HP. I think we're dead, <laughs> TBH, but we're gonna, we're gonna do everything we can to not die. So we'll, we'll eat the stuff. I don't think it's gonna have much of an effect at the end of the day, but... You gotta try, right? 38 HP. She's got a, a quarter of her health left. Honestly, you're doing pretty good right now. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate the kind words. We're dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll load into it one more time. I think, uh, I think, fingers crossed, I think we have it this time. We'll have to make sure that it kept kept us on the right difficulty setting. Yep, doing great. That sounds like sarcasm noodle, and it's not appreciated. <laughs> There's no need to be rude, noodle. It's still on normal, okay. Run away! Uh napalm it up. No, I would never use sarcasm. Yeah, I don't know if I believe you very much. Stop cycloning! Cyclones are my thing! Hi there. Ah, uh, we missed with the first one. Son of a bitch, dude. You know what? We might actually need a, uh... <laughs> might need to try again here. My bag is perfect, by the way, and I got a broken true Baka as a freebie. Weird, but okay. Oh, we can attack her, uh, her alchemy when she's throwing it down. That's weird. I didn't know about that. Okay, well, we missed that time, but... <laughs> so many chains and things. Throw it up. Yes, get her. Uh, she's about to hit us, isn't it? Isn't she? Yep. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yep, we're, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, my lord lady. Uh, Napalm, please. Uh, Cyclone. Not that. Cyclone. Did it hit her? I don't know where she went. Oh, butterfly spotted. That's actually very handy. Oh, hi. Yep, yep, I see. I, I need I need your butterfly, please. You need anything besides the Pepsi? No, I'm good, love. Thank you, though. Give me give me all your magical power, butterfly. I need all the help I can get, honestly. <laughs> Cypher gauge full, excellent. Uh, I wish we had like a healing spell. That would be pretty dope. Let's eat our hot cross bun. We're doing better than last time, but just barely, man. If we didn't mess with both of our napalms, I think we'd be in a better position. Ow. Wait, we might be able to use items while we're invisible too. Like, I know we can't use normal attacks, but we can use spells. And... We might be able to use items, though. I don't think I can hit her with the, uh... I don't think I can hit her with the napalm while she's up there, though. Sadly. What else do we have? Anything useful? I mean, we can use the blizzard. Though it doesn't seem to, to do much to her. Can you come down, please? Yes, 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 yes. Come down, come down. Where are you at? There you are. Excellent. Uh. Oh, good. We're poisoned. That's fine. <laughs> St 
stop throwing so many alchemy? How do you have so much inventory space? <laughs> I refuse to believe you can carry that much shit. Oh god. Yep. Oh, yep. We're, we're fucked. Is she jumping up somewhere again? She is. Son of a bitch, dude. No, stop with the cyclones. Ah, run away. <laughs> I just want to throw some napalm at you. Why don't you want to be napalm? What's up with the chains? I'm guessing chains are like her thing in some way, but... Alright, she's jumping down again. She's over here. Okay. Ah, fuck, dude. She's actually pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Need anything else besides the Pepsi? Uh, did I answer that already? Regardless, no, I'm good. Her weapon is a weighted chain, so yeah, kind of her thing. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright, where's she at? She, this time she's in the other direction. Uh, Invisible. And then Napalm. Shit, I missed. <laughs> She was too close. If we could actually hit her with stuff, we'd probably be in a better position. Uh, <laughs> but we keep missing with all of our magic. Well, our, our uh, not magic, I guess, but our, our alchemy. I think she's floating somewhere she is. So when she's floating, it seems like we should basically just avoid her. Until, uh, until she comes down. Like, I don't think there's a whole lot of point in dealing with her while she's up there. Dude, like, she can just, she can just fucking hurt us. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? It's not that bad. We just gotta get into a rhythm, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Just had to get into a rhythm with it. That wasn't so bad. Alright, uh... Oh shit, I'm out of power. I didn't realize we were that low on it. Okay, okay. Oh, now she's swinging. And we got hit. You know what? It's fine. Kill the thing. And try to avoid the chains. I said avoid the chains. Not get hit by the chains. There we go. We, we got this. We got this. We haven't even healed yet. Ah, oh, man. That uh, AoE attack that she has is kind of killer. There we go. Get her. Get no, stop getting hit. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's run away for a moment and heal. And uh, kind of collect ourselves, you know? Take a deep breath. Everything's fine. She's coming for us. <laughs> She's coming fast. Eat your food and run away. Get her. Ah, oh, dude. She's so close. Just fucking... Just hit her, like, one more time. Stop it. Just fucking hit her, bruh. No, turn around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my lord. Attacking the wrong direction helps no one. Forest of El... Elrit? El El Elrit? Oh... <laughs> die, Velvet, die. Wait, you two will not stop the fight. Oh, my God. Why are you here? If you look like this, you can see it. The king. 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 Is this where we figure out that she's our sister? ベルベット。一段とお<笑> Yep, there it is. 
バレンタインとラグナネイブル二国の戦いのさなかあなたは王女であった母に身分を偽って近づき還元で惑わしたそして母が身ごもると見捨てて逃げたのです母は敵の子を産んだために父親の怒りを解消した Oh shit dude She was executed for having the enemy's child? それは違う娘よわしらはお互いに何者か知らなかったのだ逃げたのではない引き裂かれたのだわしは本当に王女を愛していたお父様それごとを母を愛していたというのならそこにいる娘は何なのですあなたなど父とは思いませんし But, like, he didn't kill her, though, did he? Unless that's like a twist later on or something. According to him, that's not what happened. Right, according to Odin, like, he was actually in love with the princess. And they were forced apart. Oh, the princess's father. Okay, okay. That's right. I mean, so like, if people in this world are known to have foresight and shit, and someone says, hey, using that thing is gonna destroy the world, because, you know, our ancient prophecies and people with foresight says it would, like, why fucking risk it, dude? Like, <laughs> Power hunger, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You had some kid throw up in the trash can and then almost had a fight? That's awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. What a dick, dude. <laughs> what a fucking dick, dude. You ready to come home? I wish you could, love. You only got a couple hours left, at least. Speaking of a couple hours left, though, uh, I, not at all related, really, but I think it's probably a pretty decent time to take a short break. Um, it's not when we normally would, but since I accidentally skipped the first one, I haven't personally had a break yet. So after this cutscene or whatever is about to happen, please, then, uh, oh, nothing. Okay, yeah, it's just perfect. We're just in the castle. So yeah, we're going to have to take a quick break, guys. I need to stretch my legs, use the bathroom, do all that stuff that I was supposed to do like a half hour ago. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Like, five minutes, give or take. Oh, damn, I feel like that went quick, dude. That bar was moving. Yeah. 
Yeah, she has to be a nurse or something. Don't pick at it. Hit the ball. Doctor will see you now. Cleanville Health. Like, she's got to be some sort of nurse or, or something. That just uh, golf caddies in her free time. <laughs> Beautiful putt. And we got some course experience. Again. Hey, that took us all the way up to 13. It's a side job. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine being a golf caddy pays better than being a nurse, but I don't know that for sure. <laughs> being a golf caddy could pay amazingly for all I know. All right, is that... As long as that's not going to put us too much through the trees, which it eh, looks like it might be okay. Nice, perfect hit. Oh, that ball's on fire. <laughs> I didn't see that last game. So what happens if we do that with the full thing? New course record. Cool. Let's zoom on up here. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty much exactly where we want to shoot. We got the whole left hand thing going on. Left hand wind, I mean. So just hit it right straight. Would have liked to hit it a little bit harder, but... Not bad, though. Hopefully we roll into the green. Or the rough, I meant. But no. Uh, actually, you know what? This isn't all that bad, though. Hitting off the rough isn't that big of a deal. Alright, we want to hit about 60 yards. We've got the wind blowing to the left. So we're actually just going to kind of aim straight-ish. Uh, that m may have been too hard. No, actually, I think that's pretty spot on besides uh, the wind affecting more than we expected. Do I want an Oreo ball? I mean, yes. <laughs> I can't eat it right this second, but if you uh, want to bring one up, I'll sit on the desk here and eat it in a moment. Okay, so let's, uh, let's aim about here-ish. Ah, this is going to be too far, and then I'm going to be sad. Let's take it back a little bit. Let's aim right about there -ish. Let's go for that. Come on. Oh, it was definitely too far. I'm glad I pulled it back a little bit. But man, that really threw us off to the side there. Okay, there's hardly any sideways momentum, but we are going uphill. So hit it a little bit hard. That should go in. That should be a clean, clean putt. Again, never going to complain about a par. We'll take, we'll take a par for sure. Pulled us up to 11. Maybe we can get top 10. That was what? The 11th hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as long as we don't screw up hard again, we have a chance of making top 10. Okay, we're going to go for the full again. I still don't really know what that does, but I want to see the effect. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. For the Oreo ball. You're not going to say hello? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I have no idea what this full thing really does, but... Maybe if we get a perfect hit, we'll figure it out. And... Ah, we were so close! So close to perfect. And now we don't even get another shot, at least not this tournament. Pretty good hit, though. Yeah, I mean, we got a record, so... Definitely a good hit. Shooting for 154, got a bit of a win. What's our... Green looking like here? Uh, slightly to the right. Okay, so let's aim actually like all the way over here. Because the wind always ends up affecting us more than I expect whenever we're shooting towards the end here. That was, that's too hard. I think we hit that too hard. We're going to end up uh, rolling far past it here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not too bad at all, actually. Is this for par? This is for birdie. You would aim right. Thank you for your hint. I think I shall aim a little to the right. Hopefully. Cool. Birdies Another birdie. That should help us climb. We may even be top 10 now. We are. Number six. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so point-wise, we are ready to take that top one spot. We just got to get a couple more birdies to get us uh, into the plus one, zero sort of range. 
You know what? We'll just get a hole in one here, and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> um, there's not much movement here. So we'll aim just a tiny bit to the right, but honestly, I think it's going to come down to luck more than anything here. Yeah, that was too soft. That was way too soft of a hit. Unless we really get some good roll on it, which... Yeah, nope, I didn't think so. Crap, man. Okay, uh... Yeah, again, not a whole lot of... Not a whole lot of uh, hillage there. So just hit it. Not too accurate. Oh, man, come on. You kind of you kind of just giving it to us game somebody some Irishman with his good luck charms over there apparently I didn't really look at the people in the crowd I thought they looked fine until they started moving and then suddenly they just turned into like pixel city there <laughs> that was a little odd hey that took us up to fourth very nice very very nice okay 14th hole um hello oh we do still have one more power shot let's try i'm back i'm enjoying some cheese <laughs> there's a quick little snack that i could grab so i'll be munching on that a little bit while we continue the game here man talk to all these people what do you what do you got to say No, I haven't gotten the Irish cheese. I honestly forgot all about it. I forgot all about the Irish cheese. You said it was made by the same people that make the Irish butter, right? Or am I uh, misremembering? Now, I'm just eating some cheap snacking cheese right now. Like little individual wrap things of cheddar and Colby. Nothing fancy, but, you know, delicious. Got a clock back in already, Noodle? Okay. I love you. I hope the, the last of your shift gets a little bit better. I mean, you could just not try to take over the entire continent. Like, that's an option, too. Well, we just figured out something about our dad, you see. <laughs> Can't really talk about it. He'd be kind of pissed, but... You have Carrie's Gold Aged and Reserved. Both were good. Reserved has a nice cheddar taste with a hint of sweetness. Mm. I mean, I'll try them, of course. But I'm not, you know, that big of a sweet person. If it's just a hint, though, it might not be bad. Regardless, I want to try it. Oh, wait, is it really going to be cold there? Or? High XP food. That's kind of nice. We do actually need some, like, uh... Oh. Ice proof charm? That seems nice. We got bags, too. What I really want to do is buy a bag. More than I want to buy healing items or anything. I just want to get a fucking bag. Can we sell anything? Hold on. We could sell the antidote. We need nine gold. I kind of want to keep the muggle seeds. Uh, luck stone. No, I guess we don't really have anything we can sell, huh? And we can sell the lucky mix. Screw it. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Sell that. Oh, shit. I'm hitting circle. My bad. <laughs> yeah, we already did this. So, lucky mix. Yes. Because, I mean, we have the luck stone, you know? It's fine. Uh, We never ended up using the blizzard. That would give us enough to get a bag. 
And we can make another blizzard, so it's not like we really need it right now. Yeah. Fuck it. We're gonna sell the blizzard. Sell it. And then... How much for the bigger bag? Oh, that was for the bigger bag. Dope. Okay. Cool, that's another five items we can hold. Definitely. Take it. Take it all. Give me my bag. Hell freaking yeah. So did it automatically unlock? No, I'm guessing we have to use it. There we go. Yes. Okay. Dope. So now what we can do is maybe put our seeds in that one. Potions and shit in this one down here. And then... And then, yeah, consumables here. Dope. That's actually awesome. I'm really glad about that. Not overly sweet, like, just right, great snacking cheese. Like I said, I definitely want to try it. I just like cheese, so I don't really care what kind. I want to try it at least once, you know? <laughs> so can we go back to the places we've been before? Or, like, did any of these places that... We're not meant to go to yet? No, I guess not, huh? Yeah, they're all grayed out. Like, we can't we can't select any of them. Maybe we'll be able to later or something like that, but right now at least, nope. Enter the stage, let's go! Oh. Are we gonna get another tutorial here, or is it just straight into the game? Oh, nope. We got a fight. Okay, that works too. Ow, bruh. No hitting. I'll take whatever that is, please, and thank you. That's how you ended up getting it? Was like, I gotta try this? Fair. Yeah, I don't blame you. What is this? Mulberry seed? We only see, like, one thing, so I don't think it's worth planting the seed right now. Oh. Okay, there was a couple more things than I thought. <laughs> Got S rank, though. Hell yeah. Turns out, uh, playing on normal mode instead of hard makes it a little bit easier to get better rank. Muggle seed. Any gold? There is. Mulberry seed. Rosimile. That's the one that just releases shit. Okay, so that's actually nice. We'll probably just use that one now. And we got the map. Um, okay, so let's go into our real inventory, please. I wish we could use stuff from here. It's just so much easier to see everything here. Okay, so we got the Muggle Seed, which takes eight, and that one takes the, uh, whatchamacallit, takes four, right? No, five. Shit. Oh, well, okay. We're going to grow, uh... I mean, I guess we could just grow the mulberries real quick. Yeah, fuck it. Why not, right? Five, five, that's ten. And then we'll just take the extra two. Yeah, let's do that. Grow, my pretties. Grow. Uh, Rosimile, you can go there. And then mulberry. And mulberry. There we are. And then go back into the inventory again. Having the two different inventory screens just kind of seems dumb. When it could just have them all in one. Make it a lot easier to uh, see what you have to use things to organize it all, you know? No squeakies? No squeaky squeakers? I'm not seeing any. Oh, I forgot to uh, unmute the game itself. Sure, it'd be nice if you guys could hear. <laughs> Especially while, like, the people were talking and shit. My bad. Y'all gotta tell me about that stuff, man. Lord knows I can't keep track of it. I'm terrible at this. Uh, <laughs> another one you like is the Great Value Sharp or Extra Sharp White Cheddar. I like Sharp Cheddar Cheese, um, but Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese usually just ends up tasting like... Uh, like American cheese. Which, like, I like American cheese on burgers and a little bit in mac and cheese to help your, your shit 
uh, melt and whatnot's good. But, like, to just eat, I'm not a big fan of, so... I'm iffy about extra sharp cheddar, but I do like, uh, like extra sharp, or I do like sharp cheddar cheese, though. Like, regular sharp cheddar cheese. Shit's fire. So good. A fucking plus, man. Oh, I heard a squeak. Oh, we got a carrot. We'll take it. We got a tiny bit of inventory space now, so <laughs> we can take more stuff. Ow. Bear still hurt. Regular extra sharp, you agree. The extra sharp white was a little different. Can we break this chest open, please? Ooh, mulberry seed again. How many posons were there around here? I don't really care if we end up losing the posons, so I'm just going to... I'm sorry, the mulberry seed, so I'm just going to plant... It. And if there's enough to make it grow, awesome. If there's not, then it's not the end of the world. Oh my lord, we're getting so many seeds now, man. Doing a water change for your fish? You're good, no worries. No hard feelings at all. Uh, what all did we get? We got material, cool. A bear met seed? We can finally grow our sheep, man! <laughs> Muggle seed, muggle seed, and mulberry seed. I was hoping for another rose simile, but no luck. My lord, our bags are already full. I bought that extra bag and we're already full. Okay, well, a lot of it is mulberry seeds. So what we'll do is drink the yogurt and eat all those mulberry seeds. Or mulberries, I mean. To clear up some inventory space. And then uh, maybe we'll do something with the, the potion that we got. Uh, da, 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 where is yogurt? Thank you. Can we make yogurt? I didn't see if that was on the list or not. That's something I should have checked. And the mulberries... The mulberries are pretty good, honestly. Like, 20 HP and 70 experience? They're not bad. Kind of feels wrong to just down them all right here like this, but... Oh, well, we need inventory space. Even with the extra five that we just got, it's not enough. And there we go. Level 14 on the HP. Gladly accept it. And I think that's pretty much it. So now just pick up all the random seeds. Right, we never actually looked at the map. We should probably look at the map and see which way we want to go still, huh? Uh, oh my lord, we have so many seeds, man. Mulberry, mulberry, baromet, bunch of muggles. Uh, tell you what, we'll... Okay, muggle, muggle. We don't really need that many muggles being carried around all the time. What do we get if we mix a base with a muggle seed? Anything? It just levels up. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. And then we have, an, uh, blah, blah, we have another extra muggle, right? So we'll take the base level one if we can find it. And... Mix it with the other Muggle Seed, another Muggle Seed. Make a base level two. I, I mean, we don't really need it right now, but fuck it. What do we get if we mix the level two, though, with the level eight? I'm assuming we just get a level... Oh, it actually goes down in level to 76 instead of 88. Weird, okay. That's a weird interaction. That's not at all what I expected to happen there. I thought it would just go up, like, in level, but less so. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Now we know. Not that button. Map. What? What's the map button again? <laughs> One of these buttons here is sure to take us to the map. Um. Okay, so we want to go down all the way first. The map is... Oh, it's the same... What? It's the same exact map as last time. With... With the same rewards. Well, I mean, that reward's different. Down there. But all the other rewards are the same. Weren't we supposed to be going to the... 
Oh, it doesn't change now? Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't realize that. I was very confused. I was like, hold on. <laughs> I, I thought we were going to a mountain or something. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Whatever. At least we know that, like, the game's not broken. That's that's what I was honestly worried about. Well, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's go down first. Work our way to the bottom to get that, that one extra special thing that we didn't see before. And then we'll, uh, do some. Honey, you are, but you went to the wrong area? Wait, what? It only let me go to one area from the world map. I didn't have any other choice. Unless... What? <laughs> uh... I'm confused. Okay, well, can we leave this area then? Oh, shit, we got poisoned. Because I definitely didn't mean to go the wrong way. When you get to the world map, I'll show you. Okay, how do we get to the world map? Is, can we just, like, exit the area, or do we need to, uh... Do we need to beat the boss before we can go back to the world map? Oh, shit, we're frozen. Ow. I guess we should probably take a antidote before we lose all of our fucking health. Antidote me, please. Is it you? No, you're the material. Antidote. The one that we only have two of. Should be able to go back from where you entered to get to the exit. Okay. Good to know. Really good to know. I think I missed that gold because I was busy soaking up all the bosons. Alright, so we just gotta turn around and switch thing. Got it. We'll turn around. <laughs> Right, we just we we took a little extra excursion to uh to collect some some gear. That's all, you know. All right, we'll go back this way. Yes, that way, and then just go up again. So this one. Oh no! Nope. Go down, please. Hold on, I did hear a squeak though. If it's a poison, bro, I definitely want that. Nope. Oh, the enemies respawned! It's so weird, like, sometimes they respawn, sometimes they don't. But I, I realize, like, it's not a uh, time bloom this time, though, so I guess it's... I don't know. I guess it's just more for experience, for getting more Fozons and shit. And, uh, items if they drop anything. Did I hear another squeak? I did. There's just some more, more onions. Onions everywhere. Are we full? Yeah, I'm not that worried about that. Whatever. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> trying to figure out where we fucked up at. Because apparently we fucked up somewhere along the way. Alright, so this is where we started at. If you go back to where you entered, you should be able to exit. Yeah. This is where I entered at. I don't see an exit. Turn to the start of the level with current items and experience. Can we do that? Return to base. It's kind of nice, though. I mean, like, I appreciate the ability to... to, uh, revisit sections that we've already been in and shit. To get more items and experience and do all that. Like, that's nice. But, uh... Yes, go to Horn Mountain. That's what we're trying to do, at least. Uh, hey, you know, actually, since you're here, I found, like, a lot of shit if you want to buy some of it. <laughs> Onions seem to be literally everywhere, so you can have some of those. Uh, mulberry, mulberry. You know what? I have I have a lot of carrots, too. You can You can take one of my carrots. And then we'll make some, uh, I don't know, napalm out of that or something. What do we got? We got you, 
I'll switch with you. Mulberry, mulberry, pyramid. Okay, well, yeah, we'll mix that with two mulberry seeds and an onion. Sounds good. Do, 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 do. Uh, material. With. Is that a level two material? It is. So wait, why wouldn't we just mix that one in with the onion? Would not be a dumbass. Or, or, hear me out, we can just make two napalms. I guess that's an option as well. <laughs> Probably a better option. This napalm does come in handy when something's not resistant to fire, at least. Seed. And one more time. But if I could find it. Where to go? Material one. Mulberry seed. And onion. Material two. Onion. Napalm. I don't think the game should just be teaching us how to make napalm like this, though, you know? It's not info, you just want to give it to the kids, man. Why didn't you pick it up? Pick it up. Come on, Gwendolyn. Okay, so we're going back to the world map now. Up plus X to exit. We're on our way. We're almost looking at the map as soon as it loads. We're looking at the map. Cleared areas can be revisited. Oh. So, okay, it said revisit. I, yep, got it. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> We're just dumbasses. 100% understood. No problem. <laughs> the Demon Lord's Throne. Otosama. あの人、ベルベットという人はお父様にとってそんなに特別なのですかあの子は愛しかった王女に生き写しだまた失うのかグエンドリンに下がれわしの苦しむ様を見るではないヒーアクスライクヒーケアズアバーハーモーワイミン
You're completely immobilized. The effect will gradually wear off, but you can rapidly press the action buttons and directional buttons to recover fast. So we can we can shake free. <laughs> so do the ice crystals just always freeze us? Like as soon as they touch us? I'm assuming we just can't let them touch us, right? Okay, no, no, no. Sometimes they just hurt us a little bit, not freeze us. Semi-random, I suppose. A score of zero? Yeah, I don't see us getting an, uh, an amazing rank here. Uh, <laughs> S. Never mind. <laughs> score of zero, S rank? Sounds, sounds right. Yeah, sure, why not? Ooh, grape seed. I remember seeing those. Those are the high XP ones. Muggle seed. Like, we need more of that. Alchemy mixed W? Gives you warmth to prevent HP loss in cold climates. It's uh, just a regular material and a tourney, but we haven't found any tourneys. So, not particularly useful unless... Hold on. Is that a tourney? Yes. Okay, cool. So, like, I don't know. How much damage do we actually take? from, like, running around in the cold. And I mean, if Gwendolyn would maybe put on some clothes, like, don't get me wrong, she looks fucking cute, dude, but, like, <laughs> it's not the best winter gear. I'm just throwing that out there. And as the daughter of a king, I'm pretty sure you could afford getting some fucking clothes if you want, if you don't already have, like, a full fucking winter wardrobe somewhere. Has a ring for the hole, but that part broke off. You can't get it back in for the chain part. You got this years ago when you first delved into paganism. It's been your good luck charm since then. But with it breaking, I don't want to risk it breaking even more. Worried that the new necklace won't have the same effect even after officially retiring this one. It's, that's hard, man. Yeah, I don't really... It's kind of like a fucked if you do, fucked if you don't kind of deal then, you know? Like, I, I would suggest just giving it a try and seeing, you know, with a new one. And then if you have to go back to the, to the one that you're currently wearing, the one that you're worried about breaking then you can always go back to it, but, like, worst, the last thing you want to do is just lose it forever, especially because it has the sentimental value as well. Oh, I didn't mean to, like, just fucking beat that. Take that muggle seed. It's not a bad idea. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, Rosimile, hell yeah, we'll use that. And a map. Maps are handy. And bear met. Okay, we can finally grow some sheep. I wish you could just grow sheep with seeds in real life. Like, that'd be pretty dope. Oh, our bag's full. Well, that's fine. We're getting ready to plant Rosimile, right? Because I think... Muggle, muggle. That's the 12 foes on. I think the... Uh... Yeah, 12 Fozons, and I think Rosimile gives us 12, right? Yeah, exactly. So just enough. Fucking perfect, bro. Now you just gotta find a good one. I believe in you. You will. You got this, man. How many sheep is it gonna drop? Is it gonna drop one or multiple? While it's doing its thing, let's uh collect some more turnips or whatever. I'm assuming we can just eat the turnips too, like other things. Probably only for like 10 HP though, and no experience. And okay, nothing else to pull from the ground. Are my plants, go oh, never mind, I lied. There's another turnip. Do turnips actually grow in cold weather? I know very little about, about turnips other than they're not my favorite vegetable. Mix that with that so we can get a nice warmth potion, even though so far it hasn't seemed to really do much to us. We'll still take it. Oh, look at the big sheep. Uh, hello? Sheep? There you go. <laughs> Lamb chop. A strong taste of meat recovers 100 HP. Uh, can we eat it more than once or only one time? We need to go into our proper room. We need to clean up some stuff here. Let's see. Uh, we can make another potion out of all these seeds and shit that we have. I want to keep the grape seeds because I haven't actually gotten any of those yet that I can remember at least. Um, we have a lot of turnips. 
So do we make another warmth potion? French damage from excessive cold. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like we take that much damage from it, you know? But like, look at all these fucking seeds. I'm just gonna mix the material with a bunch of random seeds, man. Muggle, muggle. So there's two muggle. Grow sheep. We probably want to keep that. We'll mix it with the, the mulberry, even though mulberries are a pretty decent source of uh of health. Oh shit, we gotta hurry up and collect that other sheep before it uh before it, like despawns or something. These sheep have a shit ton of health too. No wonder they heal so much health. Like okay. bruh. And then where'd my material level one go? Mix with not with the lamb chop. The turn up would take it up one. Might as well. Take it up one level there. And then can I organize a little bit to make this a lot fucking easier on myself? All right. Seeds go here. You go there. So there's one muggle seed. We can mix it with a muggle seed still. Material. Muggle seed. Take us to level three. I really wish there was only one menu. Having the two just confuses me. <laughs> right, we still have an extra muggle seed that we can mix with it. Now, fuck. Not that menu. The other menu. It's for some reason, there's two. <laughs> so far, that's my only complaint about the game, man. Having the two menu screens. Like, if it was just the one... You could still do all the same stuff, right? It just wouldn't have this neat aesthetic with the, the whole circle thing. But the other one's so much more usable. It's more user-friendly. So I'd prefer if they just kind of had that one, but whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. It's not the end of the world. And what do you do? Recover 10 HP. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did it do something else? Oh, no. It just says it's resistant to cold. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the map now, finally. So we want to go... Well, okay, we want to go that way just to collect that base, I guess. We get some sort of necklace down there. Where's the shop? The shop's there. And then the boss is all the way over there. This is a pretty big level. Oh, wait. Now, that must be where we started. Yeah, 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 that's where we started. So we can actually go to the shop now if we wanted to but let's uh let's go down to the boss first and collect whatever that is right because if it's something cool we'll use it if it's lame then we'll just fucking sell it so let's go yeah we took two damage okay so we're, we take what two damage until we defeat the boss for the area or whatever or whatever the the mission is in the area like kill all the shit like that kind of sucks and if we get enough bases i guess we could start taking the potions but it's like we don't get a base every level and you only get one use out of the the health or i'm sorry the warming potion so it doesn't seem like a great idea to to drink one every every round Maybe on the harder fights, where we're going to be in it for longer, it would be a good idea. But for these basic ones, I think we're better off just... not. Oh shit, are we full, really? Okay, well, you know what, first, let's uh soak up any Fozons that are in the area. And we did actually grab another one. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just drink, start drinking them and saving, like, one. Something like that. As long as we have the turnips, which I mean, right now we definitely do. Uh, speaking of, we need to. What do we want to grow? Maybe a muggle? Luckstone. Okay, we don't have any seeds in this bag. I guess they're all in this bag. So we have a muggle seed, a muggle seed, and a bear met. So we could get more sheep, or we could get. The sheep are going to take up two slots of inventory space, though. The muggle won't actually take up any. So let's grow the muggle seed. Yeah, fuck it. And then plant the rosemary. 
Uh, you here. Thank you. And I guess we'll mix that with another turnip and make more warming potion. And is that it? Put you. Oh, okay. We're like out of space down there. Uh, let's start mixing this other material with just random shit to see what it does, if anything. Uh, so the carrot would just add more. Lamb adds a lot more. Onion adds more and turnip. We have a lot of turnips. Let's add a turnip. Let's add another turnip. Level five. Carrot levels up. Lamb levels up a lot. Onion levels up. Turnip. <laughs> Turnips for days, boy. Let's go. <laughs> And uh, that gives us a little bit of inventory space, at least. Yeah, not a ton, but it's better than what we had. If we start drinking those potions, that'll help us have a little bit of inventory space. Because we don't get the vials back. There you are. Any more? Is it, is it done? Nope, two more. Come on, produce your produce your foes on, boy. And I think that's it for now. Yeah. So where do we want to go? We want to go down again. Yeah, down one more time. Down's the boss, actually. Excellent. Let's go! Fight the fucking boss. We'll see how bad this one is. I, I imagine this one won't be all that bad compared to some of the other ones that we fought. Because, you know, we're on the easier difficulty now. And we have, like, a good source of health in the lamb. That we didn't really have before. Okay, drink the warming potion. Oh, shit. Each warming potion has three uses, too? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, there were... <laughs> we're uh, we have way too much. No, oh, hi there. You're a uh, dude. Uh, not really what I expected, I'll be honest. I expected it to be some sort of beast or something. Jump! He's not all that bad, though. We should be able to kill him pretty easily. Alright, we're like out of power, though, so... I think we get more if we, yeah, stand in place. Where'd he go? Oh, hi, Axe. Can you die, please? Alright, we actually need... Oh, fuck. We're dead. We're dead, aren't we? Oh, God. I need a potion <laughs> or something to heal. I didn't realize. Or I, I didn't mean to get fucking... Uh, uh, frozen. <laughs> it's alright. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. We didn't actually even get hit. Oh, we gotta kill all the... Kill all the dudes before... Oh, Jesus. The freeze. Alright, they disappeared. Whatever. I was hoping to get a little bit better rank, but... I, mean, I guess we don't actually know the rank. Maybe it's an S. I doubt it. Forgot to warn me about Berserkers. He wasn't all that bad, though. Definitely could have done better with him, but not the end of the world. We did okay. What do we got? Some gold, very nice, and a star pendant, which increases max HP. Honestly, I think I'd rather just have the extra the extra drop, so I think we're going to sell that one to the shop. And the lamb does have more than one use, so lamb confirmed OP. Uh, it covers... Uh, you know what? Which we're probably better off eating the mall berry first. Or the muggle, I mean. If I could find the muggle. There it is. We did use our last yogurt, right? Antidote, antidote, warm, warm, napalm. Yeah, yeah, we did. There we go. Little bit of HP, we'll go back to the shop and sell some shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Um, oh, both directions actually are sharp. Excellent. Making it nice and easy on me. Ooh, ooh. I got a squeaky. It's a turnip. And we're frozen. <laughs> and we're dizzy. <laughs> and we're frozen. God damn it. I hate status effects. Okay, we're fine. Uh, yes, go. Anything cool you got for me, shop bro? Probably not, let's be honest. Thought I got away from the goblins and now I meet the demon lord's daughter? Uh, what does that mean? You know, if you're worried about me killing you, you would think you would be a little bit nicer to me. I'm just <laughs> just throwing that out there, man. I don't know. Uh, what will you give me for the star pendant? Two whole gold. Ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. We got a couple carrots we could sell, but probably not. We got... What does what mean? Oh, what he said. He called us a goblin, essentially. <laughs> I knew what he actually meant. He just means we're a goblin, but... He's being mean. Uh, Muggle seed. I guess we could sell? No. We'll sell one of the carrots. I don't think we need two carrots around on us. Fucking rude, I know, man. Uh, we have a tiny bit of antidote left. Honestly, I think I might sell the warmer. We've been getting a lot of base. And we can make a level 10 base pretty easily if we want to. And then use another tourney. So let's just go ahead and sell that too. And then I think... I think we're good at this point. We'll uh, do a quick lap to see if there's anything that we want to collect. But I think that's all we need to do here. Uh, put the seed up there. And then we got all this shit still. Okay. No squeaks. No squeaks. Nope. I think we're going up. Are we fighting a boss or what are we looking at? Goblins are great? Uh, sure. <laughs> if you say so. I'm, uh, I'm not partial to goblins. I'm not anti-goblin, I suppose, but... Like, uh, they're not my favorite thing either. They're just, you know, they are what they are. They're goblins. We probably should eat before we get there because we are pretty damaged. Oh, wait, we get a bone? Throw to knock down an enemy? Can I mix the bone in a potion, though? I might be partial to goblins later or, like hating on goblins later. <laughs> My love for goblins gonna grow or decrease here? I can, and it actually takes it up by three, so fuck it. Yeah, let's do that. We'll mix that in, and then we'll go ahead and make our warming potion, like I was mentioning. Guess it also depends on universe. This is true. This is true. Uh, so that just takes it up to level 10. That takes it up to level 10. Do we have any extra seeds? We have one muggle seed, a baromet, a grape, two muggle seed. We want to keep two. That's kind of what we carry around with us. So I'm going to mix it with a onion to take it to level 10. And then mix that with a turnip. Do we have any seeds that we want to try to grow real quick? 12 phosons. I don't know if we'll get that much. 12 phosons. Yeah, I'm not going to risk any of them. Fuck it. Just mix that with that. And we get warming potion and a handful of phosons. Very nice. So we should have all the warming potions we could possibly need at this point. <laughs> I think we're good. Gonna be more anti-goblin by the end of it. I mean, you're probably right. Alright, so we'll go into here. Instantly throw down a warming potion so we don't take any damage. Especially since we have so many of them anyways. There we go. And then find this dude. Or dudes that we're supposed to kill. The next character, you learn more about him. Ooh, what are you? Okay. 
Not nice, that's what you were. Uh, <laughs> I always forget about magic. We should use magic sometimes. Go away! Freaking ice crystals. Uh, why are you running? I don't appreciate it. I'm trying to kill you. And I can't kill you if you're running away from me. You too. Oh, you can go underground? That's pretty cool. Oh, and a butterfly spot? Okay, you know what? There's actually a lot of Fozons not only around here, but just in general. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this is bad. Uh. Okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> we're going to... It's going to hurt our rank running away like this, but fuck it. We're going to grow the bear met so we can get more health. And then we're also going to eat a little bit of lamb, I suppose. Because, oh god. We are taking a surprising amount of damage from all these things. It's the stupid freeze effect, man. Like, that really fucking hurts when it happens. We just can't do anything. Oh my lord, there's so much going on in the screen, too. And we're already, like, hurt again. Need some cyclone to get, get get them a little bit stunned and whatnot. Oh my lord, okay. Run away. We're dead. We fucking died. Holy shit, dude. I can't believe we fucking died. It does though. Okay, at least it has like the uh the, the reset for the same area. Like that's I actually really appreciate that. And we already know we're gonna get a shit ton of uh Fozons here, so let's just grow like everything. Or at least at least those two things. We'll uh we'll come back for the rest later. Also, I forgot to use the warming potion. We kinda wanna do that. I used the wrong one, but it's fine. And then kill everything. Oh my lord, frozen son of a bitch. No freeze. What is that? <laughs> Why was there a freaking snowman head? Oh my lord, it freezes me. Everything freezes, man. Why is it so cold? Why do I live somewhere where the air hurts my face? All right, y'all are dead now, right? I want to eat a lamb. Not a whole lamb, just, just a bite of lamb, maybe. <laughs> also, you found two, you just need our opinion on them. Dope, send them over in the Discord or whatever. I'll give you my opinion on them. If you didn't already, you may have already. I just haven't really had the chance to look over there. Uh, okay, I don't think we need any antidote or anything. I think we just need to murder these fools. Mary's lamb. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. If you didn't know. Wait, are those things creating the, the snow men heads yes i'm frozen i understand game wait where'd he go oh he freaking disappeared did his old underground trick oh there's a butterfly too cyclone oh my lord this is going so much better than last time other than all the lag there is some wicked lag. <laughs> With especially like in big groups of enemy, because the lag seems to happen from all of the uh like whenever you start hitting stuff. I don't want the butterfly to disappear, but at the same time it's like, bro, I'm kinda in the middle of something here. Oh, that's grown. Don't let him Don't let him freaking Oh, I can't knock them off. Why can't I knock them off? Do they just automatically fall off? Maybe they are automatically fall off and I just have to murder them. I don't know if they disappear, so I don't want to I don't want to risk it cuz they are too good of heals to let them go. My ranks can end up sucking, but fuck it. Like it's it's not worth losing the lamb. Mary would be pissed, you know. Ow. Get him! Get him! 
Is he dead? I think he's dead. Okay, was that everything? You know, there's still more. Holy shit, there's so many of them, man. Oh shit, I wore myself out. And I also did that the wrong direction. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't really have a choice. I can't turn around. Oh, Lord Almighty. Uh, okay, Cyclone again. It's a big encounter. Like, there's a lot of shit here, man. Oh, my Lord. I need, like, better range stuff. Attacks or whatever. I mean, I guess you can use the, uh, the, the alchemy as, like, a ranged option, but you can only throw so far. Get out of here. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Just need to get out of these big groups and start thinning the herd a little bit, you know? Okay, I think we... I think it's safe to grow another... Muggle or something. There's a lot of shit floating around, so I think we're okay with that. Where was the last Muggle that I grew? I hope it didn't, uh... Like, despawn, because it, doesn't it say something about, like, the fruit will eventually... Ah, shit, yeah, it was the grape, not the muggle. And it did, I took too long to collect it. I got bad grapes. That sucks. Okay, I actually need to heal. Let me eat some lamb. Lamb chop! Oh, God, thank you for not freezing me. Oh, my lord. Frozen again? This encounter's harder than some of the boss fights we've had, man. <laughs> Alright, you're dead, but this dude popped up and froze me instantly. I see now why there was that amulet that, uh, that made you invincible to, to freeze. Because, like, yeah, that would actually really come in handy here. Yeah, we got rank D. I'm not surprised. That's that's fair, honestly. Not even mad at the game for that one, man. That was a bad encounter. What do we get? The economy? We got a book on the economy? Okay. Sure, why not? The economy of this place. Uh, they have no standard currency. Instead, the five types of coins used by the various nations are accepted all across the continent. Titania mints gold coins from their abundant gold mines, while Ragnanibal... <laughs> uses silver that have little value due to the poor quality of silver they contain. Coins from the Lost Kingdom of Valentine are widely accepted and have high value. Three types of coins were minted and are said to have been enchanted. Fancy. I mean, a little bit of lore, a little bit of backstory. I'm into it. Hey, at least we got another grape seed, so we can try to grow more grapes at some point. Let's collect whatever Fozons there are laying around. I'm guessing that's it. Okay. Let's get some heals, eat our lamb up a little bit. What else do we got? We got that bad grape. We might as well eat it now, right? Oh, it still gives 250 experience, though. That's still a lot. I don't know how much grapes normally give, but, like, dude. I'm not going to be mad about that. Uh, okay. There was stuff that we didn't pick up on the ground, though, too, right? Uh, hear something? I hear a squeaker? It's a very nice amulet to have in this area. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that now. <laughs> and I guess that's it. I think... I think we've made a full trip around. Check our inventory real quick and then get the hell out of here. We got two bones that we can use just for the increase our materials or just throw at stuff. We have more than enough warming potions, so I'm not going to worry about that. We still got two muggle seeds and a muggle. And a grape seed. Okay. To clean up inventory space, let's go ahead and mix the bones with the, with the, the, the reagent. Oh, and that actually increases it by three, that's right. The bones are considered good. I wonder how much bones sell for. They can't be all that much, right? Where's the map? 
Yeah, let's go check out this other shop too, because we want to see what the shopkeeper has anyways. He might have something that the other one didn't. Something useful. Hi, Goblin, sir. So you can multi class and tie Natinas at one point? That's pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna die up here if you keep it up. Very little value, yes. Yeah, I didn't figure they would have much. Like, one gold? Yeah, I figured. Better off using them as a uh, something to mix in with the with the potions. Grape seeds, cheese, milk. Okay. Uh, base material, a small bag. Increase attack power by 10%? That actually seems pretty nice. There's the ice proof charm that prevents freeze. The ancient crystal, which just brings us back to life. With like 100 HP or whatever. Uh... I mean, I'm tempted to try to save up and maybe come back and get the Ice Proof Charm. But at the same time, I think I'd rather just get another bag, man. Like, so I think that, from what I've read, I think it said you can carry six bags, five bags, something like that. Yeah, fuck it, man. I want to be able to carry more stuff, so. I'm an, I'm an, invent, uh, like, a, a fucking loot whore in games. So... <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna buy buy all the bags, man. That's that's all we need. We don't need anything else in life. We just need to be able to carry more shit. <laughs> Very nice. And we had another one. I would like to use. There we go. Wait, can we use things from the inventory screen? No. Okay, just the bags. Lame. Whatever. Uh, let's keep shit kind of organized here somehow we'll have like actual food we want to eat there seeds here i wish well we know stuff's going to automatically go into the top slot so we should probably leave the top slot empty so that things don't get as mixed up while we're while we're messing with stuff and then we'll cooking ingredients in this bag the bottom that seems like a pretty decent mix not that yeah actually no i did want that bag Fuck, dude. It's so confusing. Okay. Right. Big bag. Grab this. Mix with that. Get a level six. And then that level six. Wait. It didn't go to the top bag. It went to that bag. Does everything automatically go to this bag? If that's the case, then what we actually want to do is have it a little something like... Like this. I guess, right? I guess like that, maybe? I don't know, man. I'm just guessing here. I have no idea. So, Nate, if you can still hear Tiny Tina's, does it play a lot like uh, Borderlands? Or does it lean more heavily into like the hand-to-hand -hand and uh, like the melee and, and whatchamacallit and magic and shit? I'm just curious. I'm not going to pick it up for quite a while still, but sooner or later. Uh, I mean, it's just a scroll that we get for fighting this boss over here, but, like, we're going to do it, right? Like, <laughs> nobody thought we weren't going to, did they? Because we always have to fight everything. It's no fucking question. No, don't put the larger bag. Don't do that. Um, shit, now everything's, like, out of order. Oh, cool, we can rearrange bags. Nice. Okay. Good. So what I wanted to do was just put the thing that we just picked up. What happened to it? Oh, whatever. I give up. It's fine. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking it's friendly. It's not hurting us. Nope. It, uh, it's definitely attacking us. It just took a moment to load. We need to get some more foes on so we can use some of the magic. Sent the links in Discord? Awesome. I'll check them out. Right. As soon as we're done killing these dudes that are attacking us. And collecting the random chest that they drop because <laughs> that makes sense, right? Those little troll fucks are evil. I'm seeing that. Okay, grab that, not the bag. We want to go this way. 
Melee is definitely better, but still has guns. A lot of them are crossbow, like I'm running around the Stabamancer class with pistol and sniper, mainly an assault rifle. Interesting, okay. Stabomancer, you say, huh? <laughs> That's an interesting name. Ooh. Faith Heart, Ancient Egyptian, Bastet. I mean, that one looks pretty cool. I haven't seen the other one yet. But I like the looks of that one. Uh, Discord. And then the other one... Oh, just like a like an onk. I I'm personally like not a very I don't know flashy person. It's like while I really like the design of the first one, the ancient Egyptian Bastet uh, onk. Uh, I, I I don't know how to pronounce that one, but uh, totally forwent the names. Yeah, I'm just using the name so that I can, so you know which one of the two I'm talking about. But, uh, the Ankh one I think is more my style, personally, at least. Like, just real, you know, not flashy, just simple. I also like the matte black look of that one, too. Yeah, I think that's the one I would go with, personally. I don't know how Nate or Noodle or anyone else would feel about it. But if I was choosing between the two, I would uh, I'd probably pick that one. Uh, let's save, actually, real quick. We should have done that while I was looking at stuff. You're a simple person myself, so I definitely agree with you. Not to, not to mention the cat one. Cat one's page. <laughs> not to mentions. Not the, meant the cat one's page. Way too... I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm confused, but I, I understand what you're saying, yeah. It's a little too flashy for me as well. I, I do like the design of it. I just, like, if it was matte black or something, I think I would like it more. But it's not, so. All right, warming potion, because, yeah, why take damage we don't need to take. And then, do we have any lamb chop or anything? We should have eaten that before we got in here for the heals, but oh well. Berserker, Barbarian, Warrior, they're not too bad. At least the last one that we fought wasn't. Do we have any more Napalm? We do. Should we save it for the boss? Probably. But oh well. <laughs> Fuck it. Get that flame on him. Level 2 flame? Hell yeah. 2 for Ankh? Nate oh, Nate voted Ankh too? Hell yeah. Alright, we need to uh, recover a bit. Oh, power recovered already. That was quick. Ah, oh, bro. Berserker too easy. I say, before he's even dead. Oh, wait. Where did you come from, warrior lady? Why do you look like one of my warriors? Aren't you supposed to be on my side here? Like... <laughs> hey, we got a new scale, too. Which, uh, which one's the... Foes on burst. Attacks nearby enemies with a blast of foes on. That's, that's nifty. Never been big on gold. You've always preferred silver. Yeah, I don't... I'm just not a flashy... Like, I, I don't wear any jewelry, really. But if I were to wear jewelry, it would probably be something simple. Something black. Zero time. Reset stage timer to zero. Troll molars. That's interesting. I guess that'd be handy for... Uh, like, if you're trying to get a high rank to get more items or something, then, yeah. The ability to completely reset the timer for the level would probably come in handy. I don't think it really does much for us right now. Especially since, uh, at the moment, at least I don't really care about my rank. And on to the next one, man. Just keep on going. Working our way through it. You did send the black... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Let me pull it up real quick. Oh, yeah, see, I like that much more than the other one. Um, oh, man. See, I don't know. <laughs> the the Ankh is still a little bit less flashy, which is nice. But I do like the, the black cat way more than the gold one. Like, 100%.
yeah, it, it's pretty nice. I think you'd be cool. Uh, you would be good with either one of them. But uh, I don't know something about the simplicity of the onk still kind of calls for me. But if you're gonna go with the cat one, black's the way to go. For sure. Also, warming potion, please. You still go with the onk? I think I would, personally. But uh, I don't think you could go wrong with either one of them in black. Why did these dudes have, like, monkey noises whenever you were hitting them? No, oh, you fucking guy. Minimalism, yeah, 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 that's what I was trying to go for. I like the minimalism of the, of the arm. Even though I think the cat design's cool, I think the minimalism with the onks a little bit suits me more. You guys just get me, and I love that. Hey, we leveled up our uh, our health again. I didn't even notice. Where'd you go? I miss you so. You freaking weird ice dude. Is that it? Nope, there must be more. Oh, okay, they just spawned. Like, these guys don't scream monkey to me. I don't know why they make monkey noises. It's really throwing me off. I'm not gonna lie. You sing in some Fort Minor? Never. I don't know how to sing. It's been forever since you've been gone. Please come back home. Uh, anyways. Any squeaky squeaks? I fucking love that song. Me too. Me too. Fort Minor was good, man. It's too bad they only ever released one album. I, as Fort Minor, at least, because, I mean, you know, Lincoln Park still had, uh, which band member was it? Was it Chester, or was it, uh, the other one whose name is eluding me at the moment? Remember the name? Yeah, remember the name was good? Uh, was it out the back? I forget the name of the song, but the one about the sneaking out the back of the, the bar or club or whatever before the other one. Uh, the other person saw them. That that one was really good, too. Mike Shinoda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to remember. It was Mike. All right. Our bags are probably fucking disgusting at the moment. Let's clean it up a little bit. Holy shit, we have a lot of turnips. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. This one bag is now our turnip bag. Because, <laughs> holy crap, man. We're overflowing with them. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep pumping this one material i mean like i guess we are starting to run low on warming potions but that's three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah we could make a level 20 one and with level 20 maybe we could grow something we do have an extra muggle seed so i wouldn't feel bad if we lost it and it only needs eight so wait what are you rape oh dude we got like multiple extra muggle seeds put our seeds in our seed bag Oh my lord, man. So many fucking turnips. Alright, let's uh let's start mixing some shit, I suppose. So you're level six. You're level ten. Why not just mix the six and ten together? That makes it level sixty. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to grow some shit with that. Let's do that, and then. I think we can take level 60 up to another level, right? By mixing it with all of the turnips and bones and shit that we have. Where did my bone go? Hello, bone? Cigarettes. Cigarettes, yeah. That's the one. Really good. There it is, bone. 63... I mean, I guess the other option, instead of doing that, is just to sell all of the the turnips. But, like, I feel like it's too late now. <laughs> I'm committed at this point. Uh, muggle. How many muggles do we have? We have three. Mix it with one, then. Go ahead. Take one muggle seed. I wish there was a little bit faster way to mix these, uh potions and things. 
It does it does take a moment. It might be a little bit faster if I wasn't, you know, confused by my own inventory system constantly, but next to you, with you, 66. 67. We should plant the seeds before we forget. We wanted to do. Let's do a grape and a muggle. And then if we lose those, I won't be heartbroken. I don't think we will, but if we do, it'll be okay. Turn up. Uh, turn up. And turn up. And then that should be enough. Now we should make our potion with a level 70 fucking thing. We should get a bunch of bosons for that. Hopefully enough to make... Yeah, that's more than enough to make both of them grow. Looks like we had an extra six once it was all said and done. Like, hell yeah, dude. Alright, so we got the Muggle and Grape. Oh, so the Grape still healed 250, or gave 250 XP either way. It just uh, heals more whenever it's not bad. So that's, okay, that's not that bad. Uh, seeds. Muggle. Seed. Uh, Muggle. That's our turnip bag now. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's supposed to be the ingredient one. Oh, fuck, my own inventory system. I'm getting lost in it. You go there to the edibles. And then you go here to the ingredients. There we go. All right, let's get fucking out of here, man. <laughs> I think we've spent enough time in this one, this one area. Where are we going? We need to go up to fight a boss, so let's make sure we save. And then we'll come back down to get that gold piece or whatever. And then we're done with the area once we uh, kill the second boss in the thing there. Save before the boss, just in case. I don't think we're gonna lose, but Lord knows I've been wrong before. Hi! Cool Bambaroos? Bam Bama Bros? Bambaroos? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Uh, Yeah, let's go up this way. Fight this boss, man. Oh, it's, like, there is the quick retry system, so we probably don't need to worry about <laughs> saving all the time, but, I don't know, habits and things. Warming potion, please and thank you. No reason to take extra damage. And where's the lay boss? Desecrator of Souls. That sounds fun. Um, I'm sure this will go fine. Okay, there's some monsters, but where the hell's the boss at? Ooh, chest. My rank is quickly decreasing, and you know what? It's fun. <laughs> Where is the boss? Mr. Desecrator of Souls, sir. I would like it if we uh, could could meet each other. Oh, hi there. <laughs> uh, you are interesting looking. Uh, how long have you been a streamer? Um... It depends on what you consider being a streamer, right? <laughs> I've only been taking it seriously for about, what, since November-ish of this year? Or last year, whatever. Um, but I've streamed on and off since, like, 2010-ish, 2011, something like that. For a long time, under, under a couple different accounts. So I've been doing it for a while, but, yeah, I just never really took it seriously until more recently. Why? What is this thing that's on us? That, like, red effect that we had there. I have no idea what that was about. Hey, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that. And he disappeared. Uh. Oh, nope. There he is. He's back. We found him. That dude was surprisingly easy. I was expecting a lot uh, more struggle with somebody called the Desecrator of Souls than that, TBH. Uh, don't we have a seed that we can grow? Like a big seed? Yeah, Baramet one. Let's do that. 
pretty sure there's enough here for it. Yes. It's something, but you forget what. This boss also has an important part of the lore. Or an important part in the lore. Dope, dude. How many chapters are there? Do you remember that? I doubt it. I know I wouldn't remember that sort of thing, at least. But, because <laughs> we're in, what, chapter three or four? Something like that? I hope that sheep doesn't despawn. Okay, let's hurry up and grab it before it does, potentially. I mean, the items don't, so I'm assuming the sheep wouldn't, but you never know. And it's a huge uh, heal for us, so definitely don't want to lose it. All right, we before we fight the boss, though, we want to go and fight this one and collect whatever that gold is. So we're going to loop around real quick and go over there. Wait, there was something on the ground. What? Mulberry seed. Not that big of a deal. Whatever, we'll pick it up anyways. Uh, like five areas, each character, and five characters. So wait, do you mean like you have to revisit areas a couple times or something? Or chapter three for Gwendolyn. After this, we have Volcano, Fairy Forest, and the Underworld. So six chapters, each character. Oh, five. You play as five different people, but each person has five, six chapters, whatever. If so, that's a lot of content, man. Oh, no, new areas. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Uh, food with the food. Seeds with the seeds. Uh, that was already where the seeds are. I'm an idiot. I meant to put materials down here. Swap that with that. Food there. That there. And that there. There we go. So we got the Rosimile, so we could grow... What is this? Naple? Ripens with 18 foes on. Rose fruit with high EXP, so it's like grapes, but better. Well, we'll, uh, we'll try that next time we feel pretty safe in doing so. I'm a little iffy about it. I don't want to, like, <laughs> I don't want to lose another set of seeds like we did on that one level. Especially with a new one, but... Actually, you know what? We're in an ad right now, so uh, I'm just going to pause the game there. We'll be right back. Right <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, because I am terrible at fucking looking at that. Ah, that was such a bad shot. Oh, no. Wait, what? Did we just hit it straight up in the air? What just happened? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, we screwed that up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Could you always have that bad of a hit? I noticed that our our, uh, our accuracy meter was tiny. Was that from trying to do a full shot or what was that? Oh, because we're out of them. Since we are out of them, we just have to hit it very accurate. That's a cool element to the game, actually, I think. It's a good risk-reward situation. I mean, which obviously I can't do right now because <laughs> I can't even hit the big freaking accuracy uh, gap that we have there. All right, 60 yards is what we can hit. 35.4 is what we want. Okay, <laughs> we're back. Sorry about that for anybody that was watching that... uh isn't subscribed or doesn't have ad block turned on or whatever. I normally really do try not to run ads in the middle of gameplay. Uh, thankfully though, you didn't really miss anything. It was just me doing like inventory management shit. Uh, but yeah, sorry to, to, that you were thrown into, potentially thrown into an ad without warning. That is not how I like to do stuff. Holy shit, we are surrounded by things that can freeze us. Also, we forgot to drink a warming potion. So we need to do that real quick because we're just taking pointless damage. Uh, warming, this one, warmer, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you can die if you like. Stop freezing me, you asshole. Oh my lord. Uh, foes on burst, do it. Oh, dude, okay. That move seems pretty sick. That seemed to do a lot of damage, too. I like that. That might be something good against the boss. It does use two bars of our foes on thing, but, like, uh, that's fine, honestly. I don't mind that at all. 
we probably should have tried to grow our new thing here with as much stuff as there is. But, oh, you know what? There's still a lot of enemies over there. Screw it. I'm putting down the new one. Whatever the hell it's called. The... Not grape. Not ball grape. Naple. Naple is what it was called. There it is. Grow, my pretty grow. Uh, stop doing so much flare on your attacks, lady. Miss Gwendolyn. You wouldn't have got hit if you would have just hit him. Alright, eat some lamb chop. There you go. You feeling alright now? You doing, you doing okay? Stop freezing me. I don't I don't want your ice breath on me. I do not like it. Oh my lord. He's so close. Such a big group of them. It might be worth it to use another foes on burst. No, you know what? I don't think it is. I changed my mind. It's not. These guys are close to dead. And once there's not like a big group of them, it shouldn't be all that hard to take them out. There we are. Last guy. Don't die. Okay, yep, yep, run away. Run away. No, stop doing moves. Just run away. <laughs> Eat the freaking lamb chop, man. Stop trying to be fancy. Alright. There you go, you're dead. And take that before it goes bad. 60 HP, 250 XP. Okay, so it's the same as the grape. It just does more health. Which is fine. I mean, 250 XP is still a lot. With our, our solid D rank that we got there. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We got our gold piece. That's all we really came for. Alright. I need to pay more attention to the clock, though. Especially now, because I have to get off here soon. Uh, we should have just enough time to finish up this boss, assuming we don't struggle with it to hell and back. Naples are awesome, by the way. Do they do something other than give you EXP? Because, I mean, the experience is good, of course. But, um, yeah, they don't actually give any more experience than grapes. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, do we go ahead and... Base material for all al alchemy mixes? Do we go ahead and make more warming potion? Now, we only have, like, what, one area left? Yeah, no, we're good. We don't need more warming potion right now. We're just going to get out of here. Let's go! And then... To the top. Oh, wait. Squeaky? Oh, shit. You know the other thing that we need to do? We need to... Uh heal before we go. They restore a lot of health. They only restore 60. Unless, can you eat them, like, multiple times? Is that how they work? Because, yeah, 60 HP, 250 EXP. Okay, so you can eat them more than one time. Is it twice? Save? Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely will. Two times. Three times. Three times. Okay, yeah, that's not actually bad. You can eat them three times, and they, uh... They restore, uh, or give you 250 XP for health. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. You're not wrong, man. And then, I know you said you could sell those, but, like, we're probably better off just mixing them with a reagent to level up a reagent or something, right? Because I'm sure it'll give, like, a plus one or two or something to, uh, to our, our material mix. So probably just do that instead. Game dad has finished saving. Cool, cool. And uh, this is the right way. It is. Let's go. Try not to die. <laughs> what boss are we facing now? Above the clouds. It's a band name. Called it. Called <laughs> it. I really don't like this guy. I'd murder the drunk sex this big. 
何をする気ここでお前は竜に殺されたそういうことになるのだこのブリガン様のために Why is he like licking his lips, man? That just, that just makes him even more creepy. Like. <laughs> Bruh, like, she kicked our ass in a fight. I think she could probably take this guy if we just untied him. Because he's a pig. <laughs> Why does he hate her so much? Yeah, I do. I do want to know. Why would anybody like believe him though? Like he could just be totally making that up. He uses fire breath and he you need to attack to get rid of those four shields to do damage. Oh shit, okay. Ain't no one begging for mercy here. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Not happening, man. <laughs> Ain't no one want to be your mistress. Especially after not hearing all the shit you just said. <laughs> and the way you lick your lips. Don't lick your lips like that. Ever. Nobody. Look. Anybody out there is watching this. If you lick your lips like that after saying anything, you automatically look like a fucking weirdo, man. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea, man. Uh, is there anything that we should be using? I don't know if we're going to be taking cold damage here, but we might as well go ahead and use one. Uh, so does the fire breath ever stop? Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so we still do some damage, but we do more damage once the, the shields are gone, I'm assuming. Okay, there's two shields gone. It seems like if we're close enough to him, he can't hurt us. <laughs> like... Like, his attack seems to have a little bit of range on it. So if we're right against him, it doesn't hurt. Which is very useful. Oh, fire. That's fine. Just hit him from the back. There goes his last shield, I think. Beware other revi other Valkyries replace the shields. Oh, shit. Okay. That's really good to know. Ah, fuck. Frozen. Look, you just hit me with a giant hammer. How did that not break the ice on my body? Oh, he's in a rampage. Nice. Oh, that hurt. Can I can I up, please? Uh, you can die now, if you want, bro. Okay, we are. Ah, uh, you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, the Valkyries are replacing a shield, though. I'm assuming that's what they're doing. Uh, but, foes on burst. Do it. Yes. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. Holy shit, there's Valkyries everywhere. Uh, so many Valkyries. Kill the Valkyries, please. Okay, so at least we still do some damage. I was worried we wouldn't be doing any when his shields are up. But at least it's still some, you know, not zero. But it's all right. We already got him down to, like, half health. We just need to get a quick heal up on ourselves, uh, which we should have. We might as well use the grapes. Maybe we can get a level up. No luck. That's fine. And then... Oh, we can use the grapes more than once, though, unlike the, uh, unlike the, uh, the bad grapes that we got. That's actually, again, really good to know. Oh shit, we fell like at just the wrong time. Uh, kill the Valkyrie, please. Thank you. And which way are you gonna shoot fire? That way. Uh, uh oh, we're dizzy! Please stop with the dizzy. Thank you. Can you, can you break shield, maybe? 
Ah, oh, fuck the charge. Another butterfly? Why is the game being so kind to me? Butterfly, do you mind coming this way? I need you to be a little bit closer. Monsters have arrived. Are they monsters or are they just Valkyrie? No, no, it looks like it's monsters. Okay. Also, we're burning? <laughs> How are we burning? It's cold as shit out here. Yeah, this guy's got a bit of a fucked up hitbox, doesn't he? Or not like a fucked up hitbox, but a fucked up attack pattern. Help, he's rage. Alright, we need to retreat and heal. Oh, he's chasing us down like a motherfucker. Holy shit. Alright. Uh, oh, Valkyries are back. A lot of fucking Valkyries are back, actually. Let's see. Let's eat the lamb. Because we already uh, we already leveled up once for a full heal. So there's no point in trying to just go for another level up. I don't think we're going to get that right now. I hate letting all the Valkyries refill his armor here. But, like, we had to heal up. Oh, man. Need to pay more attention to what attack he's about to do. Okay, so now he's a rage. Rage or fire? Rage. No, nope, neither one, I guess. He was just drinking for the hell of it. <laughs> just, had, just had to get a quick drink in the middle of battle. You know what? It's fine. I get it. Oh, okay, that was the charge. That's the one we really need to watch for. That's the one that's really getting us, man. The charge and, oh, apparently he has a stomp. How the hell did we not see the stomp before? Come on, come on, come on. He's like so close, man. What, what's he doing? What's he doing? Fire? Nope, rage. All right. So in this case, just, just run the fuck away, honestly. If you want to stop chasing, that's fine too. Thank you. Can we get a level two on maybe? That would be nice. Yeah, fuck. There's another Valkyrie over there. We need heals. Oh, fucking run. <laughs> Fire bad. Fire hurt. Fire burn. Uh, eat another muggle. They really don't heal much, do they? I kind of wish we still had that Naple now, but... They did give us a level up, so we can't complain too much. We're so fucking close, man. Do we have... We don't have anything to really help here, do we? Yeah. Like, we don't have any Napalm or anything. Could we make Napalm real quick? Do we have an onion? Or did we eat the onion? We have a carrot. We must have ate the onion or sold it or something. Shit. Okay, that's fine. We'll just have to... We'll just have to get frozen. Like a fucking dumbass. <laughs> trash. We're actual trash. What are you doing? Fire. Okay, fire's fine. Do the fire all you want. Actually, you know what? Let's leave for a moment while we recover Pal. He's doing fire again. Sea Brigand just sucks. Yeah, he does kind of suck, man. He's not as hard as some of the other bosses that we fought, but he's not, like, super easy either. Oh, my lord. He's so close. So freaking close. Let me just... Please, let me just kill him. Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> I appreciate you, game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. I'm sure we'll get some sort of cutscene now, right? The Demon Lord's Throne. Death to the bastard. He literally said he was trying to t have you murdered. Like... Literally. He was trying to have you fucking murdered. Did I not tell him that? <laughs> and that is... Oh shit, that's right. We're being sold off. 
I forgot about that. They talked about it. Why would I doubt my... I literally did the right thing. Why would I doubt myself? <laughs> Gwendolyn's husband, though? Fucking worth it? <laughs> oh. Old Castle Terrace? What is that? Oh, this is our sleeping chamber? <laughs> well, that's a fancy dress. Like, legit my crush in this game. Gwendolyn or her whoever her husband ends up being? So, like, what if your husband told you to go off and fight, though? You could still go out and fight, right? Her hubby. Okay, I got you. Because, like, we belong to them. We have to do whatever they say, essentially. So if they were like, hey, go fuck some shit up. Like, could we not? <laughs> that sounds like a that sounds like an option. Just have to talk whoever we're married off to into uh, allowing us to be a badass. That's the best thing about her husband. He lets her be herself. Perfect, man. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. Chapter 4, Act 1. There we go. I feel like we're making pretty decent time through the game, right? Uh, I mean, we have to stop here, sadly. Uh, as much as I want to play. I mean, I lost track of time, what, two times, three times, something like that. So I'm definitely enjoying the game. But, <laughs> but I also had to take care of things in real life, like uh, picking up Noodle from work here in a little bit. So, <laughs> no, you got to see him first. Where is he at? Is he like, is that him? <laughs> I'm assuming it's not him, right? Just one cutscene? Okay. 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 Oh, leave the terrace to the left. Okay, I got you. We'll do that real quick then. How long has it been? Is anybody going to tell us that? And you are, I don't know if we've met you yet, have we? A very long time, actually? No shit, okay. A puka vendor? Is that the their race or something? Puka? Okay, what all do we have? Do we have anything to sell? I probably shouldn't really be worrying about this right now. I should probably, yeah, yeah, we'll deal with all that stuff later. <laughs> oh, wait, you know what? I do want to see one thing, though. In case your inventory ends up changing or something, I don't know if they do. But uh, let's actually check and see if you have anything to buy. We'll see Naples Seeds. Okay, so that's probably a decent idea to buy. They heal a lot of health and give you a shit ton of uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, some actual bags now? That'll be nice. We can slowly swap out our, our smaller bags with real bags. But we don't have the gold right now, and I'm not going to take all the time to sell everything. So let's exit. World map? I guess so. Uh, revisit. Wait, so we can revisit these sections? Do we get our weapons back if we were to revisit one of these sections right now? You can do it? What are you even talking about, Nate? <laughs> Sometimes I think you just randomly show up and say you can do it. We're not fighting anybody. <laughs> uh, next time you explain the Puka Village? Okay. I'll buy the bags. <laughs> 
I mean, if I sold, like, everything, I could buy one, but I don't think it's worth it right now. Hi there. Like you said, you can grind in any previous area. I just wasn't sure if it would work, like, right now, because technically we haven't gotten our weapon back or anything yet. So I didn't know if the game would recognize that and we would just be weaponless. Me, Oswald, my favorite bitch. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a weird way to say you like someone. <laughs> Sometimes you do say it randomly as well. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. From a dragon named Wagner, you say? About that. Uh... <laughs> huh. And he happened to be the one to kill Wagner, or at least fight Wagner as well. He's been so through some shit since then, I guess. Wait, is it not just a sleeping spell? Yes, Birdie, I do fancy him. <laughs> Listen to the bird. The bird is the voice of reason here. <laughs> At least give him a chance, man. <laughs> it's not like he martyred half of your uh, home country's army or something, you know? I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> the love spell doesn't actually exist, but because they think it does... It kind of does. That's weird, man. There you go. It's actually half decent. Imagine that. At least now. May not have always been, but... <laughs> but you know the whole thing with the cauldron and destroying the world. Do you really want to do that, man? I don't know if that's the best idea. I think maybe you just keep the ring to yourself, but like... Been through a lot of shit, and then Gwendolyn betrays him. No oh, shit. <laughs> to kill you on sight? What the fuck, dude? All right then. Well, <laughs> that's kind of fucked, but okay. Okay, now you can quit. <laughs> Thank you for giving me permission, Rue. I appreciate it. I just want some water, boss. <laughs> can we, though? Can we save? Okay, we can. Stage is not yet complete save anyways. I imagine that's okay, right? Like, we'll be able to just pick up where we left off, I assume. You had to see that last little bit. It's fine, yeah. 
We had a couple extra minutes, technically. It just seemed like at the end of a chapter it was a good place. That's why I was calling it there. But yeah, one little cutscene ain't gonna hurt anything. But anyways, you're level nine in Tina's now? That's dope, dude. I still need to, you know, play it someday. Probably about six months to a year from now. If I, if I had a guess, I'll play it. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's literally the beginning of the area anyway. True, 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 true. But all right, uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me while we play a little bit of Odin Sphere. Uh, tomorrow night, maybe podcast. I'm not really sure. My co-host messaged me earlier today asking to do it tonight. Um, and, but I was like, bro, we, we do it on Sundays, not on Saturdays. Uh, <laughs> and then he messaged me back just a little bit ago while I was streaming saying that he's just so ready to go. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we'll be doing the podcast tomorrow night. If we don't do the podcast tomorrow night, like I said yesterday, we'll probably be doing something instead, uh, to fill in the time playing a PS2 game or maybe, maybe Elden Ring or, or, uh, Final Fantasy 8 or Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Just just something random. Nothing nothing too big of a deal. Maybe we'll get through a couple of the sports games on the PS2. I don't know. We'll be doing something random. Nothing important. Uh, and then we'll be back on uh, what night to do, to do? I always forget what days I stream. On Tuesday night, we'll be back for uh, more PS2 Gauntlet goodness, man. So thank you all for being here. And I appreciate it. And I hope to see you then. Like I said, I won't be there, so have fun, guys. No problem. Enjoy your concert. Enjoy your concert, Rue. <laughs> Jeez, that was hard to say. Anyways, yeah, have fun with that, man. You you uh, seem excited for it, and I hope it goes well. I really, really do. Yep, have a good night, Rue. Nice hanging out with you, and thank you for the game recommendation, because it is fantastic. As for everyone else, for one last time, thank you, and bye-bye. Hope to see you next time movement on it there tiny bit of wind try to hit it for about 40 ish well there's an accurate hit